We'll support you till the end of the day. We're so happy following the blues. We love you, what more can we say? tomorrow and DAB all across Birmingham our sponsors we thank them very much that's of course uh, Boyle Sports who are the principal sponsors of Birmingham City and along in conjunction with SAS Autos and our good friends at Borsley Labour Club we've got a hell of a belter going on tonight so less of the waffle from me and let's crack on and do it this is the Tilton Talk Show strap yourselves in and get ready for the ride we're so happy A massive welcome to the Tilton Talk Show. Of course, it is Monday night. Hashtag that's what Mondays are for. And at the start of the show, and as we do every time uh, these things happen, we bring you uh, the sad news. Uh, three of our own have lost their lives recently, which is Steve Bootcamp, who was a fanzine pioneer, J.O., who was a, a legend back in the day, and of course, Lance Shingler, age 34, who sadly succumbed to PTSD and was on the big screen on Saturday. Our thoughts and prayers and everything goes with the families and friends of all three of them. Uh, again, not easy. We don't have words for it sometimes, but we always pay our respects. On with the show. A couple of legends in tonight. I've got Chris Brown and I've got Paul Ipkiss. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Brown, good evening. <laughs> and good evening to you, Paul. Good evening. And a massive, massive Tilton Talk welcome to, of course, the one and only legend that is Jeff Horsfield. Good evening. And Martin O'Connor. Evening. And uh, we've got lots to get through tonight, so we're going to just crack on. Let's talk about the Leicester game very quickly. Yeah. Because um, we want to get as much information out of these pair as we possibly can. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow, wow, what a noise. That was that was right up there. That was proper up there. Just from us, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> you, you could hear the odd yeah. clapper going. You know, that, that was it. There was yeah. just nothing, mate, honestly. Yeah. Even when they scored, we were still singing. Mm. Right on to the end. Of, keep right on to the end of the road, mate. Yeah. We, we did it. We we absolutely bossed it uh, as far as the fans were concerned not very happy with the smoke bombs once again please don't use them they stink they're vile they're horrible oh, how many times do I have to tell you I like them oh, you're vile you're, you stink and you're vile have you still got your lucky pants on no I've took them off no, <laughs> no wonder we've been losing um, but performance wise we, we knew it was going to be under the cost right from the off uh, they're a Premier League team third best team in the country yeah. and they took 83 minutes to score a goal against us yeah and they started a stronger eleven than I was expecting. Yeah, um, yeah. So you know, I thought we we were doing all right. Went mm. toe to toe with them for a while. Obviously, they were going to have all the ball. I thought, which they did. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was inevitable at, at, at some point they were going to have a serious chance, and unfortunately, it goes in. You know, just that one header. Yeah. You know, they, I, I remember can make making many other sides really. I, I, I think we lacked offensive threat, me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we was yeah. organised, yeah. solid, yeah. and defensively yeah. worked hard, but I just think. We've never looked like we were going to, you know, get it. Get they a had goal. two shots on goal. Premier League team, third in the division, they had two shots on goal. So I think we did. You know, we had our heads up high. That's the main yeah, thing, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and and we thought, yes, we knew we were going to be under a lot of pressure, and we were throughout the game. Yeah. Uh, we were breaking quick, yeah. uh, and I think that was probably going to be our only route to get a goal. Um, you lose these ones one nil. You you move on to the next one, don't you? Yeah. You know. No. I, th I think you move on, but you, you've got to take uh, pride out of the performance. Absolutely. Do you, know what I mean? and the, you know what? The applause that Clotet got at the end of that game was the best I've heard, without a doubt. The best yeah. I've heard in his, in his, in his tenure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I think it, it shows you what appreciation the fans have 
That's all we ask for. That's all we ask for. And the players, exactly. Every week we ask for you, go out there, give it your lot, right? No holes barred. Yeah. And uh, and just play for that badge. Yeah. And for every single person Mm. in the Toronto Stadium. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Um, Okay, then, uh, ready in a little bit of a damp squib. Uh, I thought the first time, the first half. I was, saying, I, was, I was with Linda. Oh, by the way, go back on to the Leicester game. I must uh, thank the people at the cricketers uh, in uh, in Leicester for serving me a beautiful pint of vinegar. It was lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that bad. Oh. It stunk. <laughs> it stunk, yeah. mate, honestly. I work in the pub industry, so I do know. And, um, just the one, just the one pint. I, I, I took it back and had a Guinness, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it really was rancid, honestly. And uh, thanks to the guys at Borty Labour Club for giving us a lift up to the football ground. That saved me walking because I'm old. <laughs> and uh, not going to thank them for giving me the lift back because they went in the opposite direction to where our car was and we ended up walking 45 <laughs> minutes to get back to the car. <laughs> it's a night out, isn't it? It's what you it do, is. isn't it? Yeah, it's what you do. Yeah, so going on to Reading. Yeah, game of two halves at first half. We were incredible. I think we could have had four, maybe five. Uh, and I was hoping, I was hoping for the six. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> he's probably agreement that um, if we score six in a game, he'll do the show naked. <laughs> <laughs> he can't see anywhere. Yeah, he's, he's, he's safe, Chris. <laughs> he's safe, Chris. He's safe. He's safe. <laughs> Don't know. Darby on the last game. Yeah. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't yeah. it? We did have the chances early doors, did. didn't we? We in did. That game. We did. Just Honestly, on the islands. Like it, it was a bit infuriating, really, because there were two or three there that we could have clearly scored from. Yeah. I don't want to criticise him because he's been absolutely awesome for I know, us. I know, I know. If that, that Hogan chance goes in... Yeah, yeah. that's, that's a game changer. changer. Changes the game, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I think it was going to happen anyway. You know, that a defeat was going to come in. Just, of course, yeah. yeah. You didn't want yeah, it to be at home. And, we're Mercy, we, we know where we are. We know <coughs> exactly. We ain't going to win them all. Yeah. No. Um, but, you know, we just ruined them little missed chances, I think, on, on And then on second Saturday. half, it, you pay for not yeah. putting the chances away yeah. first. Exactly yeah. right, yeah. And they were more clinical than us when their chances came. Mm-hmm. We had four attempts on goal. They had four attempts on goal. They scored three. We scored one. Yeah. Refereeing decision on uh, the Bellingham penalty appeal. It's another one, and it's yep. become, becoming standard pro- procedure mm-hmm. now that we don't get penalties. Mm-hmm. You know what? The, the referee standard is poor, though, I think. I yeah, watch oh, a lot of championship poor, games. A lot, honestly, it's poor. Yeah, it's I, could, I could do it's better. I've had three lots of spinal yeah. surgery. I think sometimes <laughs> it, it's, they're, they've been watching the stand, haven't they? So they're too scared to make a, yeah. the right decision kind of thing. Okay, yeah. so for you then, Jeff, VAR in the championship or not? No. Mine. I don't no. like it in the Premier League. I don't like I don't it at like all. No. I think it's no. rubbish. I just don't like I do. it. I just think it takes everything out of mm. football. And mm. as a striker, scoring a goal, oh. mm. score a goal, and you just go yeah. on side. See, we, we just discussed we just discuss that non-penalty, uh, which clearly, to I think everybody in the ground was was a, was a portion and a short mm. light. And um, I think there's over 40 goals being ruled off for VAR this season. Which, yeah, you I know, think, you for me, think for me though, diving and the handball, like you go back to Maradona and. All that sort of thing. Yeah. It's good for that. Yeah, I mean, for um, me, goal line technology. AJ, yes. I mean, AJ, yeah. AJ in Cardiff. Mm. Oh, let, let's yeah. not, yeah. 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 Uh, imagine if we'd have um, had VAR that day. But again, you know, the, the referees, have, they've got assistants, they've got all this technology, and they still get things wrong. things wrong. Aren't they? Yeah, they I know. Think, you know. I know. It's supposed as, to be there to help them to get exactly. the right decision. Exactly. But it's not being used properly at all. Well, at the Leicester game, where it's it is shoulder, his hand, and it's about two and a half minutes further on yeah. Yeah. and then he's that's he's ridiculous yeah. 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 do you know what I mean yeah. 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 how far do you go back mm. do you go back from the goal kick do you, do you yeah. know what I mean yeah, yeah. that's the, that's the uh, it big changes question. the game as well doesn't it as a fan if you're yeah. a fan it changes the game because you're waiting yeah I didn't like it when it flashed up on the board at Leicester when it came up exactly said, uh, so you're waiting offside I'm yeah. thinking oh no yeah. you know, just mm. there look here we go yeah, yeah. it's that and reaction when no goal. you mm. lose that reaction and what happens in that reaction when somebody scores yeah. or scores? It's a moment. Yeah. Like you fall You fall it is, yeah. Like feeling. Exactly. And that's gone. Uh, that's gone yeah. now. Mm. That's gone. Certainly in the Premier totally League. It's totally gone. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it could be so much better than it is. And it, if it was used properly, it just wouldn't be a fuss. Because it would just be there to help the official mm. get to the right decision. The goal line technology is fantastic. <coughs> yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Either, it's, it's clear cut. It's either yeah, over exactly. the line or it's not over the line. Yeah. That's it. It's not. It's not subjective, is it? I think back to Lee Bowyer as well at Wembley against Arsenal oh. when he went through. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I think there's there is a, a call for it and I yeah. get it from FIFA and, and things like that, but it's gotta be right. It's gotta be right, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's not right at all, is yeah. it? No. When you watch the Champions League, it's not as much of a fuss about it, is there? Well, I think because they've had it for two or three years now. As yeah, so yeah. They've got used yeah. to it and mm. things like that, but yeah. we're just still yeah. the, the stage, the early stage of trying to get Teething it. Teething problems, yeah. yeah. And congratulations to absolutely nobody for guessing the correct score for the Leicester game. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to Absolutely nobody for guessing the score correct on the on the Reading games. So anyway, oh, that's <laughs> that's put that to bed. Cheap round. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was it like scoring them two goals against the Vile? Because for me, it was header. <laughs> to be fair, fantastic, and I think a lot of a lot of fans. Day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I, I drink in a Villa area, don't I? Sutton Coalfield. So oh, I, I just every time I just remind them when it comes up on TV yeah. when I'm having a nice cold pint, I'm, I'm just telling them it's me again. It's me again. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have a bit of banter, but they're they're all good lads. But now, nah, listen, it was 17 years before, before we played them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the, crazy, the atmosphere leading up to it was unreal, mm. unreal. 17 to, years ago score. as well, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's scary, isn't it? My yeah. son bought me the video, all the, yeah. all the Blues goals yeah. against uh, against them. We don't say, we, we're allowed to use their postcode, but we don't say those two words in here because <laughs> it, will, okay. it will poison all the effects. <laughs> <laughs> the roof will start rotting in a month in another. Yeah, that's but that's why your roof fell in a bit, Chris. Sorry? Somebody, somebody did mention the word in here the other week. That's perhaps why your roof um, leaked. Yeah, you know what I, mean? yeah. I had water dripping through, yeah, the, yeah. through the light switch. Oh. Yeah. So we don't mention it. B6, that's it. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, he bought me this DVD, and the very first game that was on it was the very first game that I went first to back one, in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful! And I just sat and watched and watched and smiled. Like that was smile. a three 0 though. The first game, <coughs> the first one. Yeah. yeah, the first <coughs> one. Yeah, I remember a couple of minutes from the end, we're three 0 up, and I can feel the floor bouncing. I know I'm on about in the nineteen seventies. Oh, are you? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just got in the nineteen sixties yeah. as well. I want one, one, two, I want one. You might have been. I want one. I was. Oh, was this? What was the score in that one? I think it was three one or three two. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, we, we want it. Yeah. And uh, all, I, mean, all, all, all I remember, they had the Tilton Road. Yeah. Did back they? in the day. Yeah, it used to be Did the way end back Honestly. in the day. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Never know that. They, all, they all had little pink and blue balloons. and was patting them on the pitch. And like, <laughs> we're belting out Kate right on like there was no tomorrow. And uh, it, it scared the living day outside of me. I must, I must admit, the noise was just mm. phenomenal. You can rock some tangos when it goes like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Once it it's goes. proper. Oh. Yes. It's sadly, it's sadly, it's. It's, it's few and far between moment, now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Few and far between. People yeah. have got used to sitting down, haven't they? I'm wanting another. Mm. Mm. But I think because the game's changed, like him flying into a tackle, Grange yeah, flying into a tackle, yeah. Yeah. in our day, the and every crowd, time, that was better than somebody yeah. scoring a hat-trick. Grange flying lift, through lift, somebody and things like crowd. that. Yeah, yeah. It lifts people, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, but you yeah. can't do it now. I'm back in your no. day every time there was a corner. That was my air on that was sounding. Oh, was it you? Right, okay. Put the back of the cot with my four-year-old son on my shoulders. Never got injured, never got hurt, mate. Always cared for and looked after by everybody around, yeah. One of my Proper favourite days. ones was Man City. You got the winner, didn't you? In ninety third minute, was it? When Gareth Ainsworth scored for them, we went one 0 down in the eighty ninth minute. I'm going back to ninety seven here against Man City. Against yeah, Man City. City. Yeah. Right. You I Nick, stayed you till the end. You and Nicky Forster scored. It was the only time me and my dad ever left a game. Oh, early. sorry. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Do you remember yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Before your time, Jeff. With us. I stayed till yeah. the end. There must have been about two and a half thousand left in the place. It was me and my lad. Yeah, ninety seventh minute or something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah it was a lot yeah. of stoppages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we stayed till the end. We wouldn't go. Wouldn't go. I've never left early ever since. That was the only time we learned from it. I've done it right, once. Okay. I was even sat there at eight 0 against Bournemouth. <laughs> oh, game. Can we not mention that one? Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm yeah. just using it as an example to yeah. say I was still yeah. sat. It's a bad example. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah 97. 97 that, right? wow, a very bad that. example, Paul, yeah. to be honest with you. Sorry. A very bad example. Very bad example. Yeah, 97th minute, yeah. <laughs> Did you come close to scoring against them? Against? No. no. I only played against them once in a pre season friendly. Oh, right, right. Um, so now it was. Was that the one that erupted down the country road? Yes. Mm, I remember um, it well. But I remember a friend of mine, Ian Taylor. Um, and after the game, he was talking to him and Lee Hendry. And it, it sounds bad, but when you even like the season prowls coming to St Andrews, it does, you know, there's on the back of your neck, you're thinking, yeah, wow, right. okay. Because it is that atmosphere, mm. you yeah. know, it's intimidating. Yeah. And you're so, under the stand. That's yeah. the thing, when yes. you're coming out, you're under, so yeah. you can just hear it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Superb, I love it, I do. I absolutely it is, like, yeah. boom, it's boom, boom. Yeah, good. on my arms, look at that. Yeah. Was you a fan of the Tampa that we used to come out to? You know the Tampa. Yeah. Do you know is that good to come out to like, as a player or no? For me, because I was always one of the f- captain. You, you go yeah. at the front, yeah. so you just want you concentrate on the game. And obviously, it Never is rocking. It. But it is rocking. It's the atmosphere, yeah. isn't it? It's the atmosphere rather than what's playing. Mm. If that makes oh, sense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's. I lose my voice every week, honestly. But to come, so uh, <laughs> as Jeff says, we're underneath the stand, so when you're actually waiting to come Before out, a big game, it's like, wow, yeah. OK. Yeah. Especially yeah, the night games as well. Yeah. Night yeah. games. Well, the last big one, I think, that was the, the Fulham one, wasn't it? Yeah. That was, uh, yeah. That was really noisy, mm. proper. proper yeah, yeah, when mm. we beat 3-1. 3-1. 3-1 at home on it last game of season. Last yeah. game of season, yeah. 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 It stopped them going up, didn't it? That was Romo's last appearance. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, we got Derby last game of the season this time, and hopefully we'll be... Bringing it to up and talk bus up to my hometown. Maybe he's got his headphones on, so 
Um, oh, John Albin Milk in that one, then we? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Albin Milk in that one, John Albin Milk. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I have something to report. Go Good. for it. Saturday, my football club, Birmingham City, needs every penny they can get. Every penny, right? The food store was shut again, again. inside the main stand. Makes what no kind sense. of a trick are we missing? The food store, the burger bar, was shut outside the back of the main. What's the reason for having I, I don't know. I don't know. Right. Taking this coronavirus, is it? To be honest Steve Portman, you know, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of our disabled supporters, he did give me the, the lady's email address last week, and I must admit, I forgot to email her, so I will do it this week and find out what's going on. Well, I don't get that, because that makes money. Food right. makes money, yeah. It's yeah, Marco. Food makes a lot of money. Them, them burgers cost pennies to buy, I know, because I yep. used to have a trade app. Yeah. Right? But they sell for a fortune. Three or four quid. And you buy it because you're the football. Of course, surely there's a reason why. People must know there's a reason why it ain't open. I will find out. However, there's another thing that I'd like. There's a massive fire risk behind it. It's a great big, huge pile of litter and leaves. The litter around St Andrews is disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. It is, yeah. It's it filthy. Is, I, agree. I, I went up to Leicester the other night. Hardly a piece on the floor. Yeah, it's Premier League, though. I, That's I, Premier I, League. I, I, I know. But I, but I don't know. I don't know. Could we as fans perhaps do something? Just go and pick it up. Why are bothered? Bit of picking. Do the stu- stewards not do it, do they? In, no. Is that in the ground or no, outside, outside, the, outside the ground? Outside, outside and around the ground. The main yeah. stand yeah. mainly, or the main stand, back of the main stand, the front of the co- Coventry Road, um, down, oh, the, down the, the side roads. of the roads, the Tilton Road, you name yeah. it. It's just a litter bin. Mm. It's mm. just a litter bin, and it shouldn't be. You know. No. You know, we're, we're, we're inviting people to our club. Yeah. And they've got to walk yeah. past that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's my attitude. But you know it. what? When you go to, obviously I know it's, it's different clubs' fault because it's council and under yeah. one. Yeah, but mm. all the cutbacks. But I think, it, care, I got, think the investment in the infrastructure of the club might, might maybe t- mm. need to be looked at. Mm. So I mean, look, you, you, you stand outside, you look at that. Um, uh, the yeah, pop, and it looks lovely. It's yeah, all the blue range. Mm. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. And one thing or another. They did a proper job on it. There's a That's what I'm saying. Size, yeah, yeah. Decent sized car park there, and I'm not talking about mm. the inside. I'm talking about the outside, outside. Uh, out and around, yeah. out and around and about. You know, have to walk through that to get a investment game. I've met, met the players do it if they didn't perform. Yeah. <laughs> get them all out. <laughs> get them all out. 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 Get them all it was. Yeah. The second half we were poor. Right, it's 10 to we 8. Were poor. We yeah. were poor. It's not the rest fault we lost. Yeah. I'm not going to say that, yeah. but it was poor. Mm. Right, yeah. it's, it's 10 to 8. You've got exactly 10 minutes to find out what's in the box this week. What is in the box? You don't know what's in the box, do you? No. And no. you don't know what's no. in the box. And you don't know what's I in don't the box. I don't know what's in the box. He I do. what's in the box, and I know what's in the box. So we can't join in, but you three can. And all you can do is ask a question, <laughs> and I'll answer yes or no until such time as somebody gets it. Right, okay. Simple as that. Compl. Is it edible? No. Can you drink it? No. Is it alive? No. <laughs> Dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, waiting for that. Does it smell? Can you keep your eye on the, on the shout box? Chris? Yeah, well, I am, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it go and access to anywhere? Would no. You go, no? So it's not oh, a ticket. Would, <laughs> would you use it to get in somewhere? <laughs> say nothing. I'm saying nothing, mate. I'm saying nothing. Uh, and oh. Summer's Bag says... Uh, oh, oh dear, dear, dear. dear. Um, Does it smell? Bag, no. Does it smell slightly? Mm, is it metal? No. Yeah. Is it English? Mm, possibly. Nothing to do with football. I don't know. It's just something to do with football, kind of, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Can you wear it? Mm, yes. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Can you have a guess? Yes. Is it a badge? No. Is it made out of rubber? Yeah. Is it a condom? No. <laughs> 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 Trust yes, you. That's brilliant. Is it rubber? Rubber, yeah. Rubber. I don't know how close you are. Oh, dear me. Is it a rubber? It is rubber. Is it a rubber? Mm, no. Give it a shake. No, 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 it's not a rubber, rubber. No. All oh, right, no. no. Gloves? It is Rub- a glove. Hey, there, you there you go. There you go. Just took some of them off. Surgical yeah. glove. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> all you've got to do, guys, is share this on your personal Facebook stay, uh, stream to win a prize next week. Shall we do the um, prizes now, Chris? Hmm? Can we do the share prizes now? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot to get through. 
got like a lot of sex life. Yeah. Without sex. Best moments at the Blues? Keeping a clean sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, of course oh, I remember, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Have you, Martin? Um, probably the um, semi-final at Ipswich at all. Ipswich, yeah. yeah no, I, was, I was at the um, GM, by where the players come out, yeah, yeah. Yeah. part way up. And... Uh, the noise I just, it, was it was just best atmosphere I've ever played yeah. in was was it? Yeah. Def- yeah. definitely yeah. I mean. the, the, even both Villa games the I'm, funniest thing was we that's one really at St Andrews certainly the Lane and Dav Cup final for me is always going to be the special one oh is right it? okay oh, yeah. my first journey to Wembley with Blues oh mm. man yeah. you know what and what a goal yeah. over a kick oh. Look. Yeah. we've seen that oh. Jeff no, yeah. John Gale's over a kick. No, no, no. I mean, no. big Gailey. How he, he got there, I'll, I'll never know. Big Gailey. But yeah. If, yeah, but if uh, Ronaldo would have scored that, they'd have been playing oh, forever. Oh, all day yeah. long. Oh, yeah. Forever. Yeah. All day long. Every football program yeah. going forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Best goal scored at mm. Wembley ever, I think. It was absolutely superb. Mm. Oh, great times, great times. Yeah. But then, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed all, all, all of the times that I went. Uh, yeah. Uh, whether it was to the Millennium or. Or the old Wembley or the new one. Millennium was great. I preferred thought. the old Wembley. Yeah, brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. Millennium, Millennium was fantastic. Was yeah. It really was. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually closed. better than Wembley, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Did yeah. the roof closed against Liverpool? No, no but did. when we got we down on the Friday. Norwich, didn't we? Yeah. 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 With Norwich, yeah. we. Yeah. 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 On the Friday before we got there, we were close, wasn't it? They were doing all the things there, yeah. Yeah. So your best moment then was definitely that atmosphere. Oh, it was. As I say, I never got nervous. Ever. Honestly, I never got nervous any game apart from that. I can remember. Thinking, wow, okay, and you walk out, and then we scored, and then they scored pretty much a couple Grange of minutes after. The first one, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, Grange, Grange, Grange got yeah. the header. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then they scored. Scowcroft scored. Scowcroft. Scowcroft. And it was still rocking, yeah. and you're thinking, that right, okay. Extra time. But yeah, but you, with the great respect, me personally, you knew you was, you was going to win. Mm. Yeah. For, for whatever reason, you just felt yeah. like everything was, was on our game, side. Yeah. 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 Was it yeah. one one at half time? One one at half time. Yeah. Two one to them on aggregate. Yeah. That's yeah, it, we lost 1-0. Then I put, you put a, you Sonner put a, passed yeah. it through to me. Yeah. That's it, yeah. And I put it in the bottom corner, yeah. Yeah, but you got, yeah. your first one was on a rebound, wasn't it? You, it, it yeah. shot to the keeper and then you put the rebound in. Yeah. Oh, was that my first one? Or that, second was your, one? that was first. your first one. Oh, well, and then the, first the, one. Yeah. the slide one. And then slide one, yeah. Sonner. Yeah, that was your second one. Yeah, that was and then that's the AJ one. one. And then the AJ one, yeah, sorry. Bounced over him. Is that the winner, was it? Yeah, well... it was. Four-one and three-two and then four-two, wasn't it? Yeah, it was when I time. I was three or four seats down because I thought it was golden goal still. It's okay. You kicked off again. Right, okay. <laughs> Clapp's good, yeah. didn't he? Jamie Clappen played There's left. There's always one. Yeah. Jamie Clappen yeah. played for them. Did he? For Ipswich, yeah. yeah. Oh, did he? Jamie Clappen. Clappen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done, yeah. Then he come to us the season after, I think. They were a good side then, weren't they? To be yeah. Fair. Richard Wright in goal. And right. John McGreal. John, John McGreal. Yeah. And Mark Venus played. Venus, yeah. Jim McGilton uh, was he in midfield? Yeah. Mid- yeah. Mid- yeah. Mid- Jim McGilton, James Scowcroft. Holland. Matt Holland. Matt Holland he played. Matt Holland mm. played, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, Wrighty played. I think they were third or fourth in. Yeah, yeah. They were top but it was a close game at their place, if yeah, you remember. Well, yeah. It was a close yeah. game at their place. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So were they in knew... Europe at the time in the Premier League under George yep. Burley? Yeah, yep, that were it. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It was a great result. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. So it was some achievement, really. It was. If you're looking back. Yeah, and we were robbed in the finals. Mean? Well, oh. yeah. still still to get over there. One guy. Well, don't mention his name. Don't mention his name. Don't mention his name. But we we beat Tottenham going up to at yeah, White Hart Lane. Finals, oh, Dealey was Dealey unreal was that night, wasn't it? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was won, unplayable, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Unplayable. Mm. But yeah. But yeah, I was saying off air, I think that team then, no real stars, but just just hard work, hard, hard, hard work. Yeah. 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 Winners. Yeah. Winners more than, you know, ability and things. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Heart a lot of heart, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, we knew. We looked at each other in the change rooms, thinking, "Yeah, I could depend on you. I could depend on you. Yeah, in the trenches. Yeah, you. could depend on you over there. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And to be f- a big thing is, we'd pick each other. Like, yeah, you would have pop, wouldn't. We'd have a pop at each other. We'd yeah. have a go. Hey, you pull yeah. your finger Trevor, out. Trevor didn't have it in him, did he? No, we didn't have <laughs> no. it in him. But, but <laughs> in saying that, the dressing room, yeah. the dressing room was was fierce. Yeah, it was yeah, a it was a man's dressing room. Did you ever kick off? Oh, it was a few times, yeah, yeah, didn't it? yeah a few times. Nothing but wrong it, with that, though, isn't no, it? No, because anything no. you kick yourselves, you're very welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, don't, you don't have to. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. Well, not, yeah. that. Was, that was a good part of it. That's a, yeah. yeah, I like that. You, you listen to some. T- oh, it's kicked off in the gin drums or and back Tottenham so, and things like, like that. The thing, the thing with Sterling and Gomez and Reece. Yeah, I don't What's wrong with that? And I wanted to win a football game. He did. Yeah. And if he thought I did something wrong, yeah, go. Pull yeah. your fi- you pull yeah. your finger out, I'm telling you. Yeah. And I'd say it maybe say it to him if he hadn't passed it yeah. or like Devs hadn't crossed it and yeah. we'd be arguing, I mean yeah. proper 
arguing and yeah. putting his point across. Yeah. Not, Even not at half time. Respecting people. And then, and then coming back out at second half as, as a team, as a unit again. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But, then, yeah. Yeah. but then again, a, a big thing for us, and it might sound a bit weird now, but the dressing room was fantastic before the game during the game and after the game yeah. so we'd have a, we'd have a pop at each other and then yeah. we'd go and have a few beers afterwards and he'd be yeah. forgotten ready yeah, for the next yeah, yeah. game and what was the dressing room like after the Liverpool game then at uh, Millennium we just like we got robbed yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, you know, yeah. we, like AJ we get the support yeah. As well. yeah. Yeah. yeah and Initially, if he wouldn't have gave the first if he wouldn't have gave the first one he'd have gave that second one the yeah. second yeah. one was worse than the mine one, when yeah. I got injured yeah. I think mm. it was blatant whereas mine was a bit but the AJ one was blatant for me yeah we just looked like we got robbed that were it we were down one. Yeah, we I was going to say, yeah. We deflated I mean, for an hour, the, an hour and a half. And the game itself, on, first off, yeah. we wasn't in it, was we? We didn't have a kick, really. No. no. But then we just come on to it. I missed the first 20 minutes, I remember. So did we. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but, you know, and then after, I think it was flat. The changing room was flat. Of course, and it's got uh, The manager, um, Julier, came in and said, look, come into our dressing room. And yeah, he did, yeah. Have some swap nice ones, swap some shirts, shirts, and all shirts and all, and all that, yeah. Which were nice. Which is nice for him to do. Yeah. Yeah. No need to do and that. The players, no. yeah. And the players come in, yeah. like Jamie Redknapp, yeah. Ayala, and all I had one of my personal. We went, we went toe to toe that day with some team. I mean, it was some players. Another ten team. minutes, we would have won the game. I'm yeah. telling you, we would have won. It. Exactly. We, we were the we better team on it. the yeah. day, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, we yeah, were definitely. on it. We were. Yeah, definitely. First half was probably more them, but overall, yeah. over the 120 minutes, yeah. we were. And the fans Brilliant. as well. The, I mean, Blues have always been renowned for superb. Yeah. But that day, the support. I mean, drowned out the Liverpool support. Oh no, no, did you? You couldn't see it on the TV when you walked out. No. Yeah. Because they delayed kickoff, didn't they, for Sven Joran yeah. Eriksson's arrival? That's it, yeah. Did they? Do you remember that? Yeah. No, I don't. No. Yeah. yeah. I remember. No. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was on the coach because I went on the coach with the club, and it, well, we missed the first twenty minutes because of the, it was the first ever competitive game at the Millennium. Wasn't That's it? it. Yeah. After they'd yeah. knocked Wembley down. That's yeah. it. So it was yeah. the first time that they'd yeah. had a big cup final at the Millennium, mm. and the, obviously there was a few teething problems, and they didn't sort out traffic properly, so we were delayed. Traffic horrendous on the way back, wasn't it? So we were like, we were legging it. I remember us legging it to into the stadium. As soon as I parked my backside, Fowler scored, and that's again. Oh, what a worldie that, that was! Oh, great finish, wasn't it? Worldie. It was a good goal, wasn't it? Better needed to be taller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, move, we'll move on a little bit now then. Um, right, something that's a little bit close to my heart. As you probably do or don't know, uh, my other arse lad was killed out in Afghanistan 10 years ago this May. And uh, what we're doing around our local uh, town, and of course with my lovely community of Birmingham City supporters, we're raising as much money as we can for the PTSD charity. Now, I've just been to some Coalfield. <laughs> Uh, to see the lovely Annette Levington, who's got a poorly shoulder, hope you get well soon, she's just donated that, it's a doggy uh, thing to jig, so we'll, we'll, we'll do something with that when we get back, and um, as a lot of you know, my other half is going to have her hair dyed royal blue here on the Tilton Talk Show in <laughs> April, <laughs> oh, really? she is up to £655 with that tonight, £655, pounds. Wow. That's good. Uh, yeah, just to have her hair dyed blue great cause as well, and yeah. I must yeah. say thanks to Stab's lovely lady, she's going to mm. come and do it for her, wow what a professional she is, I've seen some of the pictures, yeah. incredible work, mm. incredible work, and um, we've done football scratch cards, yeah. I've had two signed shirts donated, uh, one went for 160 quid, the other 110. Um, what else? That, that man just came up to me randomly in the blues a couple of weeks ago. The nick off talk and talk, aren't you? Yeah, it's 20 quid for your charity, mate. Brilliant. A little boy, nine year old boy, give me one pound for yeah, it was pocket money. Oh, oh. Um, that means super. Than, yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. yeah. And um, we've got lots of other things on the go. We're going to um, do a street bucket collection in our hometown. We've got a karaoke night, which is the Excessy Blues uh, are laying on. We're splitting the funds between that one. We're doing the big bash in the summer where we're all going to get together. All the Birmingham yeah. fans will get together in the Borsley Labour Club. So if you want to come along to yeah. that, you'll be very welcome. Um, and, uh, oh golly, what else have we got on the go? Uh, we're going to try and get all the schools in town. There's about 2,000 kids in, sta- in town mm-hmm. to do a non-uniform day on one specific day, perhaps May the 3rd, which was the anniversary of his death. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, half the proceeds split between that. And Good luck for that. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. When you see a 34-year-old guy, um, there's been another one today as well, so yeah. Um, unfortunately one's been found in a river and these are guys that have come back from Iraq or Afghanistan yeah. um, one guy killed himself because his, his nine mates were killed out there mm-hmm. you know um, I house a few uh, ex-veterans mm-hmm. that have got PTSD and it's difficult mm-hmm. just speaking to them is difficult yeah. it really is we, we, what they've been through yeah. whoever I speaks to one over in Spain on the internet regularly mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and is in touch with uh, quite a few others yeah. and one of them sent said the other week just send all of Barry's pictures to me and we did and he made this video mm. and put music to it and it, it, it 
it would absolutely make you cry yeah. to mm. hear it. Yeah, uh, thirteen minutes long it is. So uh, we're, we've we've gone over the one thousand pound mark already in just over two and a half weeks. Brilliant. And uh, I think I, I only printed the the forms out for a hair last Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. Wednesday, yeah, perhaps Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. We've got, she's gone. I got six hundred and fifty quid. In Super. Off, off that. So we'll be doing lots more things, and yep. uh, we want to try and make it as cheery as we possibly yeah. could by having a party at the end of it yeah, to yeah. celebrate, you know, and thank everybody. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah. That's that, that's. Uh, it's not just the, the donations; it's the other people that are helping in the background. Is of course it is. Yeah, and it's like a full-time so job support running network a charity, as well, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, well, it's like a full-time network. job running a charity, isn't yeah. it? It enough. <laughs> Mm. That's why oh I've got. God. That's why I've got Deb as my right hand man. <laughs> she's, she's, she's brilliant. She's, brilliant. No, she's different she, class. Yeah. The only thing that I'm, I'm being, like, we've registered the charity today with SAFA, which is the Armed Forces charity. Yeah. So it's it's all legal. It's above board. And uh, we had to buy a printer the other day. That that money did not come out of the fund. That yeah. money came out of our pockets. Mm. And we, the license money will come out of our pockets. Yeah. Like every penny raised, every single penny raised will go and be written on that check. Yeah. Every brilliant. single penny. Brilliant. Good luck with that. Uh, thanks, and it's it's, mm. like, it's it's brilliant to know that the town and like as I say, you know, um, Auntie Linda just took one of the air, air dressing forms around the Excessive Blues guys the other day. Ninety two quid later in ten minutes. Mm. Yeah. You know, generosity is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, of course mm. it is. They're yeah. lovely people. Mm. And that lady heard about the story today. She says, "Oh, I've got a dog for you know for dog lovers, mm. not for everybody. I've got a cat yeah. myself, but you know for a dog lover, yeah. mm. there's some little gifts and things out." Of course out. it is, yeah. And then we're doing big raffles and tombolas. Um, Chris has very kindly printed me out a load of letters. Have you got one, Chris? I've got them in the car. Okay, okay super. Okay, one in two minutes. Yeah, thanks. And um, we're going to post those all around the shops over the next couple of days. And yeah. I, I know there's a lot going on with, you know, um, uncertainty over the coronavirus, which we'll come to in a minute. Mm. There's a lot of uncertainty with businesses and, and that and thing. But if we can get some donations in and use them as raffle prizes and yeah. raise some more money. Of course, yeah. And it's, it's not about me, it's not about her, it's about those soldiers that came back is, that yeah. are proper, really struggling. And, yeah. I, yeah. and I, yeah. if I say, we see it first hand, you see it first hand, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And it, and it's it, difficult. It's, it's, it's one that, I mean, can you imagine what they feel like on bonfire night? Well, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, there's one guy that we know. There's enough support for them. There's one guy that we know. The government do nothing. No, I'm saying, is there, is there any support there network is support for them? Yeah, SAFA, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, SAFA, but a lot of them sometimes refuse it as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm? I can cope. feel I'm, embarrassed. I'm the big man. I'm, I'm, I'm the big man. I've been in the army. I've used to carry a gun. And Absolutely. I'm, I'm all right. I've shot the people. But they're not. They're not all right. They're not in the red now. And do you know what? When you're not all right, ask for help. This is our mm. instant. Yeah. It's all right not to be all right. That's the same. It's good, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Do you know Technology. Yeah, you know <laughs> I'll tell you, and I'll tell you. Well, Chris, I, I had a chat with Chris came over to see me. Uh, yeah. I, I live 40, 50 miles away from there, so. Yeah. Chris came over to see me on, on Sunday evening, mate. And we had sat in the yeah. kitchen, had a nice little chat, a cup of coffee. And at the beginning of this year, yeah, you may not have noticed, right, but I wasn't all right. Mm. All right? Mm. I had several, 30, about 13 operations, three on my spine. Mm. Um, and I am in. Absolute constant pain every minute of every day from the second I get up in the morning to the second I fall asleep at night. Every day of the week for 28 years. Every day. That's standing at the blues, I'm up and I'm down, I'm up and I'm down. Mm. I'm driving the car, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, mm. right? It is constant and utter pain. Mm. Just under a year ago, I was sat at my kitchen table at home and coughed. I spent six days on intravenous morphine in Burton Hospital, nine weeks on morphine at home. 14 weeks off work, thankfully it was the closed season, and then I got an invite to go down to the kit launch. I made it to that kit launch, I was in absolute agony, but I made it to that kit launch, and I'll make it to my football ground every week, but come January, right, I wasn't right, and I, I did a six week pain management course in Derby, and the physiotherapist there, wow, uh, she has changed my perspective on pretty much everything. Mm. Um, I understand that the pain is never gonna go away, all right? And I went to this pain management course and I was angry because there was a young girl there and there was other people there. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they were bouncing around one thing and another and, and I'm thinking, like, why are you bothering? And I hated everybody at the beginning of the year. I hated <laughs> everything and everybody. I hated coming here. Right? It gets you down, doesn't it? I told Being you. Yeah. I was, yes, it does, yeah. Right, yeah. and this woman, she took me aside in her own time. She said, look, you've got to realise you're poorly. Mm. I said, I know I'm poorly, it hurts. She yeah. said, no, not there. She said, in your head. Right, you okay. realise that you're poorly and you've got to do something about it. And I said, because my goal on that six week course was to get my smile back. I, I hadn't smiled for months properly. Yeah, yeah. Properly, thank you very much. Have a gander at those gents while we're, while we're chattering away. And um, 
So she said, go and see your GP. So I did. I bit the bullet. Yeah. And I went to see my GP. Do you know what my GP did? She stopped what she was doing and she turned around like this to me. She talked to me. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I talked to her and I broke down. And I'm not joking, yeah, I'm 58 years old. It doesn't matter though, does it? And I broke down. I broke Look down in front of her. And I, I'd, I'd get up in the mornings crying because it's that painful to get yeah. out of bed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Until I've got myself going. And, and what is it? What? I have got what I call spinal stenosis. It's a very narrow spinal canal. Yeah, so a tiny injury is massive because mm. it just clumps onto me spinal cord and shoots on your nerve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your nerves. Yeah, down then your legs and all hips to my Then your legs, yeah, yeah. Throbbing nerves. I sit here. If I put my head forward like that, it's like having an electric shock going over oh. there. Mm. Just, just because I'm stretching that nerve. Yeah. Like I went to see the surgeon and he said, "No, nothing more we can do for you." Uh, I know I'm taking time up, but I really want to get this message out. Yeah, yeah. Nothing more we can do for you. It's from lucky pace. There's that much damage and scar tissue and one thing like that. It's a bit of mind. You'll pop up and see Jesus soon. <laughs> oh. well, thanks for that. It's one. nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the letter that's going to go. Mm, brilliant. Uh, that's very good. So listen, it doesn't matter because I was indoctrinated as a child. Number one, that it was a woman's problem, and number two, that I am the big macho man. I'm not a big macho man. You know what? I was poorly. Yeah, and of I course, didn't have yeah. the guts yeah. to admit it to myself. Yeah. And now I've got some tablets, and six weeks later, I'm back to me again. Yeah. Mm. I'm buzzing. Of course. Because you just spoke, talked it. Yeah. 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 And I did say, I did say, I couldn't have, I couldn't have. The most important is it? All biscuits. Okay. Oh, oh. 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 Homemade. This afternoon. Wow. Homemade brown. I can't eat, I can't no, eat that without a cup of coffee. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a diet. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> so, so I was I was indoctrinated as yeah. a child that number one it's a woman's problem mm. and number two you're a man and you want to stand up and be big and be brave. No, you haven't. You haven't because it will destroy you because it nearly beat me. Yeah, I can tell you. Yeah, it of nearly beat me. You did well, the wrong right thing. And I'm talking Just about it now because I feel so much happier. But it's yeah. about I talking Jeff, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're around, you're around, you're yeah. Around, yeah. I'm at all all my houses just going round and seeing somebody smile. Do you know what I mean? Could be in the rooms. I talked. I talked to I... a couple of people prior to yeah. prior to this, right? Yeah. And, and nobody knew this. Nobody out there knew this, apart from just two or three. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I even went back to the doctors two weeks later, and I said, "I'm feeling a little bit better, but mm. I'm still not me. Can you double the dose for me?" And she said, "Yep, not a problem." Mm. And she said, "I can double it again if you want after. I don't need that. I'm, I'm back to, back to yeah, yeah. almost back to yeah, where yeah. I was. Where you was in yourself. I was just like I, I was just miserable." Pain, 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 pain. But a lot it's of people don't down, talk about it, do they? No. A lot of people don't talk about no. that. Right, okay, I've taken plenty of time out then, but thanks for listening. Not a problem. Uh, no thanks problem. for everybody out there for listening. And don't forget, men, mm, you ain't as big and brave as you think, and you can just go and talk to anybody at any time. And I'll tell you what, it don't half help. It does. It does. It does. Fair Definitely. play to you. Of course. Yeah. Right, I'll bring you straight I didn't have everything I was decorating my house. I wasn't. I didn't do nothing. No, but you talk, nothing. you're talking now with 20. Mojo had gone, motivation, everything had many, gone. How many years? 20? Over 20 28. years? Oh. 28. You'd notice, haven't you? Oh, yes, I noticed. Mm. I know, I told a lot of people. As but well. have you noticed a difference now? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. the doctor said. He said, other people will notice you're getting better before mm. you do. It's good. And yeah. I've, got, I've still got a journey to go on. Yeah, right? of course. But right. I ain't going to do it. Yeah. You need to beat me. I promise you. You need to beat me. This Fresh Airs competition, people who share this on their live stream so that we get more viewers right. and more hits and one thing or another, we pull one out each week oh. and then they get a, a, a goodie bag, a keep right on goodie bag. Good. I actually know this guy. Uh, Neil Alden. Neil Alden. Well, well done, Neil. Neil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, so... Uh, I've got my new glasses. 69 quid from Specsavers. <laughs> I need glasses. Oh, week, huh? you get on? Mine ain't gone yet. Mine ain't yeah, gone. Yeah, I need them, but I, I'm yeah. scared to go. I don't want to go. So when's your uh, when's your bike ride then, Jeff? It is the 28th of October uh, this year. Okay. And, I, and I've got to start training for it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't started, as you can see. So I have got, we do, we're doing 300 mile over six days. Uh, Ooh, wow. Uh, uh, I know. In uh, We start in Cambodia. We end in Anchor, going through Thailand. So it's hopefully. Gonna, it's gonna hopefully it's gonna yeah well hopefully we don't know what's gonna happen but no, obviously it's but there's twenty of us uh, Neil Gibbard from Cool Air yeah uh, they're Mitsubishi's main sponsors so yeah. John Olson their directors going as well so oh, hopefully we should should raise a few few quid and yeah. better awareness yeah 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 so yeah yeah and if we can can we is there oh yeah I still know I thought you was hiding there no 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 <laughs> can we can we um, <laughs> set something up maybe via the show to help yeah, Jeff sure. with that as well yeah 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 definitely. Yeah. Any, any, of our viewers, the... any of our viewers that would be willing to uh, sponsor Jeff on that? Well, that's what we're doing. Um, we're looking at, I think, Sky Sports are about coming over. Okay. Uh, 
Central News maybe as well, so we're right. looking at shirt sponsors. Right. Uh, hopefully I'll be on the bike and not on the back. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Good. Well, one message that's just come through, I'm just going to take it back a little bit. Uh, Daniel Ricketts says, you're a top man, Nick. It was amazing to enjoy the match with you on Saturday despite the resort. Daniel is one of our Excessive Blues members. Yeah. What a smashing guy. What an absolutely lovely guy. And Ronnie and the others and all, all of them down there. You know what? And I took my son on Saturday and my son was chatting away to Daniel, one thing or another. The son was in the 28, something like that. And Daniel called me over and he said, I just want to say thank you. I said, what for, mate? He said, for you and your three third two sons, they speak to me. They of speak? We, of course we speak to you, mate. You're one oh, of us. You're yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. You're a yeah. good nose. You're one of us. Of course we speak to you. And uh, I, I like Daniel. He's a lovely, lovely smashing lad. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I saw Adam and our friend Carl as well. Did AKA Eddie. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got um, a guy called Carl William Newton, who's a friend of the show. He's been yeah. on a couple of times. Yeah. Right. And he's a photographer as well. Takes a lot of good shots around the stadium. And because um, he's got Newton in his name, obviously, I called him Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> he's he's yeah. Mr. Sheen because he's, he's, yeah, he's <laughs> always showing him in there. He's Mrs. Yeah. Brown because. <laughs> really? it, it was and a good reaction with that yeah. Yeah. and I'm Mr Floor because that's where I end up on away days on the coach on the way back everyone's <laughs> <laughs> turning over me to go to the loo yeah. I don't mind does it no, no. Kind of a day out, you've got to yeah, exactly yeah. that's Linda. what it's about isn't it but yeah. no Daniel Daniel's a smash, smashing guy he yeah. really is and he, coming up to me and saying thank you for my two yeah. sons because I spoke to him yeah. No, it's a big thing for some people. It, though. It, it it's is. a big thing. Course, but yeah. I tell you what, I tell you what. Next time they go, they'll they'll call you know, yeah. and speak to yeah. you. Yeah, definitely. You know, bring them up right, I say. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's got rid of that bit. Got rid of that bit. Uh, no points deduction for the Blues. Um, no. The EFL have decided there was no charge to answer. Why was it even in the public domain if there was that's, no charge to answer? Yeah. I, that's what I want to know. Why? I do, why, why? I don't. Why, I don't why, get why? it because basically it was because the EFL wanted Blues to sell players. To, Obviously, to balance the books, yeah. yeah, telling them how to do business mm. when they knew good business is selling Che Adams for the best price you can, yeah, and not keeping hold of Jude as long as you can, exactly. And, for the best and you can. Vassell, no, don't well, we know for, where these players are going to go. Well, yeah. so for me, it was it was a nonsense, in my opinion, mm. because of the, the deductions before you know, go and sell Chai, Chai Adams for seven million pounds when you know you're going to sell him for 15, double that mm. in the summer, yeah, that makes better business, surely, yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's just, it's, it's a nonsense. Mm. Well, it's a why nonsense. was it in the public domain? I don't Do we know. know. I don't know. Why did they not just keep it? It was announced. We finished a show here about four or five weeks ago, wouldn't we? Yeah, and it mm. was announced by the time we got home. It had mm. been announced. That's so right. That, so we didn't have any of because we, we have a very big audience, yeah, mm. and, we, and and we will discuss anything yeah. good and or bad good or bad news, right? Because mm. yeah. we're fans and we care passionately, mm. right? Uh, we love the good things. We hate the bad you have to accept things, the bad things. But yeah. what we do with the bad things, we want to try and make an mm. improvement so that they turn into a good thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all it's all positive stuff. But yeah. sometimes you have to be told that something's wrong, and sometimes you don't know that something's wrong until you've been told exactly. That something's wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It was for me. I mean, I thought it was just scaremongering for the clubs because other clubs are in worse problems yeah, than that. Right, Chef Wednesday, 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 Chef Wednesday, Derby, Derby, Derby Chef Wednesday. Wednesday. They've all got financial problems. And, and, and where's all the investigations into these people? I mean, if, if obviously, if, you know, you, you link tree blues, it does seem like it's just picking out Birmingham picking City. Out, but I'm sure in the, in the summer when the season finishes, there'll be the other clubs will be scared to, you know, just when it does but come we out. We had our punishment part way through. Of the course, season. of course, right? Yeah, of course. And we we took it on the chin as fans. Yeah. We took yes. it on the chin as players. They took yeah. it on the chin. We carried on regardless because that's what we that's do. what blues do. That's what yeah. blues do. We carry on. What, what, yeah, on what to you, the next what, one. What are you, your two thoughts on the current setup, like owners, manager, squad? Do you think we've set up well for the future, or do you think no? no if I'm honest, I no, think we no. we are just a championship side. Yeah, um, I think oh. the, the fans are yeah. Premier League, yeah. no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. But I think the club itself needs major investment. Yeah, um, the squad it's held their own. You know, yeah. 13 games unbeaten, mm -hmm. been fantastic, incredible. Yes, right? we've improved, haven't we? Yeah, under, under Pep, we've improved. Yeah. but there's been it's not just Pep, it's uh, es Escobar, is it? Escobar. Yeah, well. yeah. yeah. number two. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think there's been criticism over Pep and. His, his situation and his formation, his substitutions and things like that. But I think a big thing for me... Every, every football fan criticises everybody. Exactly. Every doesn't week. matter what he yeah. does. No, he so, can't do so right from wrong. Guardiola's getting Ex stigmatised, the best manager yeah. in the world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, get, he's they're going, is he going yeah. to get sacked at the end of the season? Because <laughs> he hasn't won the Premier League. <laughs> my, only, my only thing with, with Blues would be, in the summer, change the style of football, which is great. Right. But you've got to give him the tools to change the style of football. So you've got That's to give him the players. And well, we didn't have it with Ola. No, uh, and it so was just, you know, yeah. I, I felt sorry for the bloke a little bit, and I must have. Yeah, no, I did. Totally, yeah, yeah. Um, 
and you know looking at it again from a supporter's point of view yeah the guy was asked to change but it, like you say he wasn't given the tools to change with right it's like asking a plumber to go and build a garden shed exactly. yeah with his with, <laughs> with his pipe bender but the, yeah. and I'm, 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 that's kind of analogy yeah. coming to yeah, it's yeah. Very true. Course, but i've watched blues and the styles change because he's stuck now to a 442 yep. i think personally the pitch has gone a little bit yeah. 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 so therefore you can't yeah. play football months. on it yeah. so you are going a bit more direct yeah. And with a great respect, I think it suits Birmingham suits City. Suits better, much, yeah. isn't it? much better. Because we've got but, players. But the same with organs made a big difference. What do you, yes. What do you going think direct with him. Yeah. yeah. All this playing out from the back, though, this modern football, and what do you make of that? Me, me I watch a lot of. I think it's academy football. Yeah. I, I just think it's academy football, and with a great respect to, to, to fans, they want to watch football. Yeah. And it's great when you've got you know your tiki tacky Barcelona, it's fantastic. Yeah. When it's absolutely booking it down at St Andrews on a Tuesday night in February, and you can't get out <laughs> your own half because you're playing to you ain't play get it forward, no. go and and, and fans get will it up the other end of the pitch and get it round Jude and get it round Algon yeah. running off and get getting tackles it's and mixing it up. And there it, you go. These new coaches yeah. now just go. We've got a pass, got a pass, got a pass. Yeah. I don't want you eating long balls. Don't want you eating long balls. Yeah. Well, that's what we did. Yeah. Didn't we? I'd, I'd go right. I'm going on the left back or the right back. Yeah. Yeah. Put Smart it on these people. Put yeah. it on me. I'll just the or dearly. Yeah. 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 Get the bits. Because back when you played, it was all four four. Two, wasn't it? Mm. Four, and now it's all yeah. like oh, Jesus, four, Christ. two, three. Would have been in trouble yeah. if, it had been, oh. if it had gone four, two, one, oh, three, four, diamonds. and all that. Yeah. Been yeah. Diamonds, <laughs> <that thing. laughs> Christmas tree formations, yeah. Yeah. everything in it. But when you look at the formations Pep's used, he has sort of tinkered with it, which yeah. is fine. Yeah, yeah. Three at the back and it, all that, and sometimes you have to find that. But we're not playing the tiki taki football like we were, say, six months ago. Oh, I, no. think the, I think that you can't yeah. plan the yeah. pitches. No, yeah. the Spanish. And I prefer exactly. I personally prefer what we're doing now. To what we oh, as a fan, yeah. Totally. yeah. So yeah, yeah. as an ex-player watching, yeah. like, and you watch as a coach sometimes, you're thinking, I get that because he's in his right position and he's playing. And he's not a left back playing left midfield mm. of a yeah. midfield player playing centre half. Everybody's like a square peg in yeah. square holes, yeah. Mm. you know. Yeah, and, it, and that's where you get your hopefully your, your success. I think mm. some coaches try to turn players into something that they're, no, not. they're not. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, virus. Let's talk about that, shall we? Oh. There is potentials for football grounds, uh, stadiums to be closed down. Uh, there was talk about it today. They've not decided not yet to do that. Um, uh, do you think it's a lot of hype over not nothing? Because obviously people are dying from it, which is mm. awfully sad. And, and, and even though that it's, it's you know, predominantly the elder population, a death is still a death in the family, yeah. isn't it? No matter well, what. Yeah. What I haven't heard is about anybody that's had it that hasn't got it anymore. There's got to be somebody out there that's had it, yeah, and, 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 and been got killed it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And they're not—they're not saying anything positive about and, and built up the antibodies for it. Mm. Yeah, and look, this is football related, yeah, because it's going to yeah, affect yeah, all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if, if these stats and these figures, which I'm watching day by day, keep going up, yeah. going, keep going up, up, and up, and they're going up at a 45 degree angle on that on that chart, and it doesn't deviate, it has a, a slight little deviation like mm. that in it. But it's at forty-five degrees now. Once you get to two hundred thousand, and it's still going at oh. forty-five degrees, mm. that's when the figures are going, to, are going to ramp up. So, so, if you close sporting facilities and and, and grounds, and do you close shopping malls and shop do you close well, it's, it's airports and done. trains? It's, it's, it's have to have to leave the lot because it's, it, it's, yeah. it's right. See, it's a Milan Juventus last night. Any of that? They were playing well, each other. It was just empty. The stadium well, coming, yeah. coming in, coming into to, to the show. I, I heard on the radio that the walls. Might be behind closed doors now. There's fans going out to Greece or to watch the walls, flights and book the flights, and hotels, and, yeah. but they don't know if the game's going to be behind closed. And you're just thinking, right, okay. Yeah. As a fan, I'm sure you'd want to go and watch your team play. Yeah, personally, I don't think if the if the can't, fans can't be there, then they shouldn't play the game. Mm. For me, totally. yeah. I, I won't like it's like pre-season games. Oh. I hated pre-season yeah. games. Yeah. There's, there's no, no atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah. 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 I mean, you think you know, yeah. just gonna have a run around and try to get fit. Yeah. 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 You want an atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. It's for the fans, isn't it? For of course, of course it is. It, is. That's what it's it always about. has been. That's what it's always about. has been. Uh, apologies for everybody that we aren't reading out many messages. Yeah, I know. Um, can, I, can I read this one? Yeah, of course yeah. you can, Chris. Yeah, by all means. There's, there's, there's absolutely loads. On, on, you know, we will try and get to a few of them. Uh, okay, the Jude situation. Will he sign for us prior to being snapped up by someone else? Mm. It's an ongoing discussion. What are your opinions? Look, Jude, Jude is going to get snapped up no matter what. He's a star in the making. Of course and, he is. Uh, and no disrespect to Birmingham City Football Club, they're not big enough for him. No. As it stands at no. the minute, yeah? Um, I love the fact that he's always last off the pitch, no matter what. Mm. Clapping the supporters yeah. and one thing or another. And do you know what, as fans, we love that. He seems a grounded kid, that. doesn't Win, yeah. Yeah. lose, or draw. Come and appreciate your supporters. <laughs> Yeah, and I know sometimes it could be difficult and your heads are down and there's a few boobs and one thing or another. 
but just come. I mean, I'm a, I'd like to see him come right to the byline, to be honest with you, <laughs> right to the goal line. It, it'd be interesting this summer for me if he's a, a blue nose like he, he says he is. He, mm. I think he'll sign a contract then go, and I think that helps the club. I think mm. the boy who went from from um, West Bromwich Albion, Louis Barry, was it? Yeah, to Barcelona. Yeah, to, to Barcelona, and then come back to Villa. Didn't sign a, for, for a club that sort, sorted him out and got him. West Brom got him to where he was. Exactly, and then see you later. And for me, you look after the club, and I think Jude will do that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. then we were saying again off air that I think for me, he's only 16, yes, and 17 in, in, in the summer, but he needs to play games. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So going yeah. to a, these big clubs, which is great, he's going to end their first team? Probably not. Yeah. So maybe hopefully the first choice then would be back back to Blues back for another to 12, 12, 12, another, another season. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd, that'd be ideal. Win, he's been at Man United yeah. today, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been. He's been. He's United been. Apparently, yeah. seen at Manchester well. United's uh, training ground this mm. afternoon. So uh, oh, he's, something's he's, going. He's going to go. go he's he's going to go. Yeah. But when you look at Dan James from Swansea, who's gone straight into Man United's team, yeah, you never know. Do you? Oh, he's, mm. he's got potentially he can be whatever he wants to be. Yeah, yeah. And like Paul says, I think he comes from a grounded background. So his dad's football oriented. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, quickly, tell us about your charity, buddy, and what you're doing. Yes, I've uh, got the Jeff Field Foundation. Uh, we house uh, people with mental health issues, like we went back to ex-veterans, uh, homeless people. Uh, we first and foremost try to get them off the streets. And a lot of people think homeless people are in doorways begging, but they're not. They can be sofa surfing on the nans, the dads, their uncles, their friends. Uh, couch. The ones we don't get to hear about. Of course you do. You yeah, don't. Yeah. One of my friends had got a job, split it with his missus. He was almost for four months. He had to go back to his mum's, who's seventy odd year old, on her settee, because yeah. mm. he didn't have the finances and the support network, and he didn't want to ask friends to go. Can I keep on your couch for a week? Can I do this? So, right. uh, so it's just about doing that. And then first and foremost, once we get them into accommodation, we then try to support them. So if it's a marriage breakdown, if it's mental health, if it's drug addiction, alcohol addiction, mm. we can try to get them off that. Uh, and then tr hopefully uh, get them back into normal society and in independent living. So it, it, it's good what we do, uh, and yeah. it's it's very very rewarding. It it really is. Yeah, sleep really out is. Up, so. We've got a sleep out on the twenty eighth of March. Fancy it? I'm uh, He's not going to say that. He's away. 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 <laughs> <laughs> At the botanical garden. So there's about fifty odd doing that as well okay. so uh, we'll and, raise uh, awareness as well as funds and Auntie Linda's doing your bungee jump yeah she's doing the uh, jump isn't she and, and Deb, yeah, yeah 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 but it's it's difficult it's it's a lot harder than you think sleeping out from seven till seven I can imagine we've still got sleeping bag we've got the we do it properly cardboard and all that sometimes we have a little bit of alcohol as well so uh, <laughs> that, that tries to I'll be on that one <laughs> yeah. but it, it's difficult and it just it sh just shows how hard it is yeah that's to the sleep. Point, and, yeah, and every it day everybody yeah. says oh why can't you do it in the summer what's the point in doing it in the summer yeah. I, sleep with, I sleep in my back garden half the time when I've had a barbecue <laughs> so uh, alcohol related yeah alcohol related <laughs> but now it's, uh, it's it, it should be a good night it should be a good night good stuff and how long have you been doing that Jeff how long have you had your time uh, about about four years, three, four years now. So did it come about in the start? In the, the, the how I started, I bought a little van coming out of football through uh, Port Vale. Yeah. Uh, didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy the coaching at all. Mm. Uh, I bought a little van, started a maintenance company up, and just started working for a woman in the houses, and just wanted to do it myself. And really? felt that with my name around Birmingham and West Bromwich and that, people can help me to help them. So <coughs> making my name work. So Brilliant. hopefully, yeah. yeah, long may it continue. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Great stuff. And what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Um, I've got my own um, football academy, yep. um, education, based in Walsall. Um, been going six years now, and we <coughs> we aim to try and get guys who a second chance back into the, the football professional ranks. Um, but you know, we always give them a plan B, a, an exit route, a pathway, um, and that's why we had the the education. So they do a full range of studies with us, um, and then obviously play football <coughs> and, and coach and train every every day. Yeah. So it's uh, it, it, it's it's going well. I mean, we. A bit like Jeff, we got guys who have been excluded from various schools. Um, don't really like the school system, but come with us. And guys now have you know been excluded from three or four schools. Now are studying um, sports studies at, at university, going on to be PE teachers. So we have our outcomes, which is it's great for us. Brilliant. Mm. Mm. Nice one. Well, who's the best player on the path <coughs> that you've seen so far? We had a guy who, believe it or not. Um, Came came to us about three years ago and um, done two years of study and he got offered a place at Bradford um, okay. and just didn't want to do didn't want to move out he was at his mum's house and he didn't want to move up there no and uh, and he, he to be fair when he first come to us he was poor but he had, we knew he had athleticism and we knew yeah. he was a decent he'd be a decent footballer so yeah, yeah. Uh, good good stuff 
so busy, busy, busy then. Yeah, yeah and I'll be, I'm a senior scout for Bristol, which is a bit um, weird at times when I go to watch Blues play. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, it, it just keeps, like Paul said, it keeps your name ticking about, and you, I'm still watching live games, so um, I don't think you ever lose that appetite no. to watch football. No, no, no. It's your Blues of the Week, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw you just walking off, yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean to be fair, Blues always uh, treat us well and oh, invite fantastic. us back. So. Yeah, they're fantastic. Um, yeah, that's good. Legends Lounge, is that where you go? Or uh, probably goes there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You not know, got your picture? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. no. Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it, it's one of those. It's it's nice to be appreciated when you do go back. Of course, it's yeah. At any club you've been at, so yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. good. It's just something about the club. I've, I've it played, is. I've played for Leeds. Sheffield United, Leicester, I've played for some good clubs, Fulham, and they're all good clubs, but it's just something about the Blues. Don't yeah. ask me what it is, everybody asks me. Well, it's you're amazing. You're Yorkshireman. Exactly, I've been yeah. out here 20 years now, I know my accent doesn't change a lot. but There, there is for fans as well, though. It just, it was just yeah. summer. Very I can always, so. the reason I signed was, I don't know if you played in it, full, uh, Fulham to a piece. Yeah. yeah when, I, when, I, Stan, when I smashed Jono, he scored two goals, yeah. didn't I? So Stan, yeah. I'll play against Percy and Jono. Hmm. Uh, smashed them. We ended up, yeah, smashed them all. Did you call him up? Yeah. Two, two, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we ended up going two 0 I got sent off. John rolling around on the floor, yeah. and, it, and it was the atmosphere coming out of it, going back to it under yeah. the tunnel, and then the atmosphere coming back in after I got sent off. Mm. And I love them hostile atmosphere. I'd yeah. like to play for somewhere like Millwall or West Ham, yeah. or the old yeah. Orling yeah, yeah, Ground, because yeah. it's that atmosphere yeah. where it gets yeah, you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It gets yeah, you going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, as soon as uh, my agent were told that Birmingham City wanted me, I thought of that game straight away. Boom. Do you know what I mean? the, yeah. the good thing about it though is, is when you do when you play for Blues yeah. it is like all you need to do you don't have to be you know superb skilled no. just go and work hard where you're out on your sleeve yeah the yeah. fans yeah. Yeah. you know that's all, that's all they love want. you that's yeah. all they want yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, just don't leave anything on the pitch. No, that's it. That's that's what, it. And that's what no. that team was all about. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. totally. Very interesting message just come through. Um I won't say who it's from. Um can you tell Jeff about this, but I'd rather stay anonymous on air. Back when you found out you had your cancer and opened up about it, it persuaded me to get myself checked. Back when I found a lump in my testicles as a teenager, my dad came with me to hospital and I got checked and I was told it was a cyst, but the whole experience scared me. I had an operation to have it removed and all has been fine. Not quite as comfortable as what you went through, comparable, sorry, as what you went through, but thank you for sharing your story to help me and others get over the initial scare of getting checked. I hope this all makes sense. Boom. Yeah, I did. Uh, I knew a journalist, uh, I think it was in The Sun, Sunday Mirror, and as soon as I found out that I got testicular cancer, I rang all the old lads up and just said, listen, this is what's going to get announced and things mm -hmm. like that, but I want to do a, a, a big report in the paper just to help somebody else. Cause I were, luckily, I was sat in the bath and I'm just, as you do, men mess about with yourselves and go, oh, what's that little look? And I mean, it won't, the, the top of a ballpoint pen, it was that big, mine. Really? It was that, and I'm thinking it's a, a little cyst, so I'm squeezing it, I'm squeezing it. Nothing. So then I knew the West Brom doctor at the time. I rang him up and said, come and see me uh, on the Thursday. And I was training. My contract at Sheffield United had finished. And I was training at Walsall at the time. Because I, I, obviously I was looking at trying to get back into the game, coaching and, and just a season mm -hmm. at Walsall. Uh, and I'm trying to remember. The, well, it's not Ray Graydon, is it? Was it Ray Graydon at the time? Be, no, I mean, Chris Nickel. Chris yeah. Nickel said, yeah, uh, you've done well in training. Play a game on Saturdays. You've got a contract Monday. I found out on the on the Friday that I got testicular cancer. And it just rocks your world. Mm -hmm. As we all know, we all know somebody that's had cancer, yeah. either diary or, or do you know what I mean, are having treatment for it. Mm. And it was just one of those things where I thought, I thought more about other people, like missus and the kid, trying to tell the kids and things like that. That's it's one scary. of, that was the hardest thing. thing. Not me. No. I'm, I've always been, going back to being, I'm this, I'm this big male, I'm this and that. A lot of people, don't want to go to doctors to get checked. Mm. It didn't bother me. I'm, I'll, I'll yeah. get it out all the time. <laughs> you know? But yes, it, it will. I'll for food, that. I'll I'll do. I just go get it out. I yeah. want. I want to be right. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah I know big Johnny Artson. He, he, yeah. he got. He knew he got something for about six nine months. Mm. Yeah, and it spread. So yeah. the quicker you can get it. So that's why I told people. Mm. Uh, and if, listen, if it helps one person, yeah, it helps one there's person, one. Yeah. Well, there's one. Yeah. Yeah. Right away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is good. Yeah, which is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. always said to me, yeah. oh, are, you in, "Are you all right now?" I can't see. And yeah. the voice goes, "Are you all right?" Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. be embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I agree because I mean, I, I, I have the same thing, but yeah, yeah. I, and the hardest thing is telling the people close to you. Of course, it is. It's telling me that was so two dollars. Yeah, rock their world kind of thing. They thought, "Oh, he's going to be gone." Yeah, do you know what I mean? I thought. Just yeah. fight it. Yeah. Same as I like I did on the pitch. I'm having mm. you. 
Boom, yeah, that's yeah. it. And what's the situation now? All good, all good, mate. Don't you have to go for any checks. I always go, I always go back to Docs have an MOT uh-huh. every twelve months, which yes. you've got to do, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And everybody should. Yeah. When you yeah. when you get to our age, you think, oh, yeah, my body's changing. I need mm. to keep going. So, mm. yeah. and how long ago was this? Everybody, ten, eleven years ago. Oh, yeah, ten yeah. years, ten yeah. years, ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. Mm. So it's all good. Mm. Incredible story. Yeah, yeah. And like you say, if I've been through due diligence, you never know. Never know. No, exactly. So get them checked, gents. Get them checked. <laughs> well, my story, Jeff, was I went, I went back. Cause I got, I got uh, bladder cancer, and I went back uh, on a date when I shouldn't have gone back because yeah. they changed the rules about tests and things like. All oh, right, yeah. I went back from, for a test that I shouldn't have had. God, I'm so glad I did. Yeah. You know First person I mean? that rang me who I'd never even spoke to or I played against, Neil Harris. Oh right, yeah. On yeah. phone yeah. two hours to him. Really? Never even spoke to him before. Two yeah. hours on phone to him. Brilliant. Nice really yeah, he yeah, had yeah. it, yeah. Mm. When he he come back and played, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Was yeah, a big yeah, support yeah. network out there then? Was yeah, he, he rang me, who has quite a few people, uh, just obviously ringing me and saying, listen, it's, it's beatable kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which one eyes? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason Cundy, he rang oh, me yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Jason Cundy. Yeah. He's on Talk Sport a lot now. Yeah, he rang me straight away. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Kevin says, Jeff, did you have the false testicle fitted to balance you up? No, I never. <laughs> I could get a bit rude, but I'm not going to hurt this time. <laughs> Before the watch, yeah, leave it. Leave it. Uh, leave. Jeff Deb said, say about the caravan. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Through the foundation, I've got to say it, through the foundation, as much as it is the Jeff Horsfield Foundation about helping uh, homeless people, obviously people have met mental health, going back to cancer, mm-hmm. people are struggling. So I bought a, through the foundation, we bought a caravan down in Breen. Brand new one, oh, lovely. Uh, so people can go for respite, Superb. things like that. So we don't, we're not going to we're not going to charge them. That's great. Do you know what I mean? Superb. So they can put an application in for, like I said, if they if they're on the bread line or do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which a lot of people are. People either mm. got to work and people have got children that have got <coughs> learning difficulties and things like that. So we're going to invite them yeah. all the way through the year to go and use. Super. So Fantastic. we're doing that as well. So thanks, Deb, for reminding me again. Super. That's why she's there. Yeah. <laughs> Lee Mailing was asking earlier if uh, you want him to do the coffee again on the uh, yes on the sleepover. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. There you go, Lee. Okay. Um, literally two minutes for your predictions against West Bromwich Albion, gents. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to that game as well with my daughter. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you know what? Blues or baggies? Oh, I'm in baggies. <laughs> I'm going to go with blues. Because I'm win. working. I'm going to go I'm going to go blues win. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go on. How many? I'm going to go 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Jeff. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Oh, get off the oh, fence. Oh, get away from the No, I think it will it'll be a difficult game for him. The confidence is flying in it. But I thought we did well earlier on in the season mm. against them if I'm honest. I've never backed us to lose ever I can't do it but <laughs> I think we're going to I think we're going to get beat 2-1 alright yeah. I've gone for one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're a good they're always good games yeah. aren't they yeah. they're yeah. always yeah. good yeah. games but they ain't as good as what one. people think two, I don't two, think 2-1 no. and they're struggling two again now lost to Wigan Drew East Swansea mm. true two. true. I hope you're right obviously and yeah. rookie pants are going back on you scored against us didn't you for the baggies yeah 2 2 when Brucey let me go Remember, yes. And, I, and then I ate the crossbar from out three, three two. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then against Hull. Ooh, I think they're struggling, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Blues win. 3 1. Blues. 2 0. 3 1. Blues. 2 0. Blues. 2 1. 2 1. Blues. Uh, is that at home? Is that at home? But yeah. it's, it's amazing I, the I'm results you've had well. since. Been back in goal. I'm going to go for 2 0. 2 1. 2 0. 2 0. Can I just say also, we've got uh, two tickets to give away for that game as well. So, uh, okay. Next Monday. So that'll be next, next. next Monday, yeah. Because the game's on the Wednesday. I know, yeah. It's going to be quick. Going to be quick. As long as I've got a winner on the night, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. We'll sort it Right, okay. So, so look out on the no. Tilt and Talk page for two tickets for the whole game. <clears throat> and very kindly, as always, uh, donated by Boyle Sports. Yeah, Thank fantastic. you very much indeed. Yeah. I'd like to ask you both the best and worst player you've both ever played with. The worst. The worst. Don't say me. <laughs> Don't say me. No, you're, you're in the starting eleven, son. <laughs> that Corley, come. Oh, uh, right back. F- what they call him, Fernand, 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 Fernand Corley. I think he was the worst one. He, every time you train, it looked like he tied his shoelaces together. <laughs> he was absolutely horrific. Who signed you? Brucey, wasn't he? 
Bruce. Yeah. Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. Most probably Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He saw him with the Ali Ussi side, didn't he? He saw the yeah, two yeah. Senegalese internationals. Yeah, that were it, yeah. I think it was his brother that worked Chris. for him. <laughs> and I'd go for I'd, I've got to go Christoph if I'm brutally honest yeah. on, his, yeah. on his day he were, he were unplayable the Southampton game yeah, oh. he, he were a lazy sod <laughs> I to, I, cost me two, year, two years of my career <laughs> World Cup winner, <laughs> Cup winner and yeah. Euro Championship winner yeah, yeah. I think it's got to be Christoph yeah some player with him. Martin I think um, we had a left back from Oxford called Simon Marsh yes I remember him blonde hair yeah. always injured <laughs> he hardly played always yeah. injured yeah I remember him um, yeah so uh, the best player, you know what? It's probably for me. So I used to room with him, and on in the training on training ground, he was unplayable. Even in some games, he'd twist Peter Venlove. Oh, oh, oh no, dear. honestly, what he would he twist oh, people up for oh, he fun. Was a fantastic player yeah. for fun. Yeah, I was surprised when we signed him. You know, why did Coventry want to yeah. sell him? Yeah, because only the Premier League. Then he went to Sheffield United. Yeah, United. yeah. Forgot about yeah. Mm. He was yeah, frightening. He was. He had a play with Nuddy. Yeah, he was frightening. It yeah. was frightening. And then we got the ones to 11s as well, haven't we, shortly after the Yeah, afterwards. Uh, yeah, 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 the Cure yeah. Leukemia, uh, Christophe Dugarry signed shirt. The winner we draw on this Friday at the Irish Night at uh, Bordesley Labour Club. So Tom Ross is commentating up there, so please go in and get uh, tickets for that one. That's the Cure Leukemia, Dugarry signed shirt. The winner we draw on this Friday. All proceeds for that were going to uh, our good friend Bick and his Cure Leukemia course. Thank you very Excellent. much. Excellent. Right, best 11 ever. For Blues, yeah. So you're one to eleven of the players you played with. Obviously, I wasn't. I didn't let you pick yourselves, did I? No. Obviously, you put yourselves in, wouldn't you? If you could. Can I no. change somebody? <laughs> 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 right, is it time to go? Oh, yeah. Uh, Are you going first, Skip? I'll go first if you want. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, I think mine is based on not just ability, mm -hmm. just characters as well. Yeah. Um, so Formation. Four three three. Okay. I'm going four three three. I'm yep. going with Ian Bennett in goal. Oh, without a doubt. Who was <laughs> the funniest? <laughs> nor that. Oh, he was so. He My was son's hilarious. Got a pair of sign gloves for him. Brilliant. He was Benno. hilarious. Brilliant. Benno. Benno. He about his humour. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. he was. But you, he, he saved a penalty. He saved a penalty against Alan Shearer in a he cup did, game. Yeah, I remember that. I don't. I, I can't remember, but he, oh, he saved right. a penalty. Yeah. And I've been to a couple of games, and I've spoke to his dad and. I oh, was telling me because he knew I was coming to the game, so his dad says, "Oh, Ian said about the, the time he saved it and then she was penalty again." <laughs> it's a brother as well, isn't it? Brother and his dad. Yeah. Isn't so yeah, Benno, um, right back, Nicky Eden, mm -hmm. yeah, chunky, great, mm -hmm. superb, most underrated player I felt when I played at Blues. Um, really good player. Back to two ten and a halves, John Al and Gary Ablett. Yeah. Well, I've missed out a few yeah. to be fair. Gary Rowett could have been in. Yeah. Um, Steve Bruce, um, yeah. Percy, yeah. David Oldsworth, but. I think John L <coughs> just just for being John L and right, Gary Ablett right, was right. unbelievable Ablett to me. Was he was he was yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. Left back, one and only Grange. Yeah. There's nobody else can go nobody in there for me. Yeah. Um three midfield, I'd go Chris Marsden just sitting in. Oh he's a good player. Yeah. Very good. I, I had a season with him two seasons, then he moved on to Southampton and did really Remember well. His debut against Wolves, he scored, didn't he? Yeah, scored, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But he was a good lad as well. Yeah. He was one of those who He'd want to win and yeah. he'd get you going, and yeah, yeah, yeah. he was brilliant. Um, either side of him, I'm going for Curtis Woodhouse. Oh yeah, who was a proper little ratter who yeah. should have done better yeah. in his career. Yeah, another great lad. Went on to be a professional boxer, boxer. as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a great. How hard is that? I know. Go from football to boxing. He, yeah. he used to say. He always loved it though, didn't he? I loved it. Loved yeah. the boxing. In in the changing room, you say, "Let's go and have a scrap." <laughs> Come on, Skip. Let's go and have a scrap. And we just go and have a fight. <laughs> yeah. The opposition. <laughs> um, and uh, the other one is Paul Tate, yeah. who I thought was. Again, an underrated. He should have done a lot better in his career. It's a big good Christmas do, wouldn't it? Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, superb. And then the front three of um, Dev's on the right. Oh, yeah. Again, you, you can't leave. Proper For me, player, you, wasn't yeah, it? Proper. he's blue, blue spoon through as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great D big yeah. dealie on the left who was just yeah. unplayable at times. And unfortunately, I've got to say, because I've got nobody else to pick, I've got to put all up for him. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought dealie, what well, he could have been a yeah. anything. He could have been a top, top. top we had to player. stop him yeah. going in the gym. He couldn't go in the gym because he would muscle bound. Bigger and bigger. Oh, he was, but he was really? some player. Oh. He was so was strong. Right. As soon as he turned like that, boom, that way, he's gone. He scored against he... Uh, Man City at, at uh, that main road. City, yeah, main road. From the halfway line. That's it. What's and he, he lay down, not because celebration, he was just tired. Yeah. <laughs> After he was he were a lump, Molly, he were a lump. <laughs> <laughs> that more or less put them in League One, didn't he? Like yes, he, remember. Yeah, remember under Joe Rowan. <laughs> but his voice ever as well, wasn't it? Quiet his voice ever. What size him? I said, Dealey, be horrible. Yeah, no, he's not got it in him. Be nasty. Yeah, yeah. No man, I'm no, no man. 
Are you like that? No, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scary actor, yeah. But that 11 would win the championship. Absolutely and right. The absolute truth is is that my son Luke used to have a rabbit called Dealey Addy Bowler. Wow. <laughs> my dad yeah. had his name on his back, number 10, Addy Bowler. Oh. On the old uh, he he was a player. Good the old Tesco carrier bag shirt. That's it, yeah. He Some was a player. player. Some player. Right. Jake, your turn, sir. I've got an in goal. I was going to pick Benno for the banter, to be fair, but I played with Mike. Mike oh, Taylor, Mike Taylor yeah. some some goalkeeper. Yeah, very much. I went full with him as well. We were just a physique. Every, Even yeah. his physique now, yeah. Yeah. and we got a form of blues. Mm-hmm. It's like a brick wall. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So he he were a great. He, he got the throw and everything. Yeah. Uh, right back, I've gone Jeff Kenner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chunky were good, oh, but Jeff, Jeff Kenner. I Jeff, him. Jeff yeah. Kenner were good. Wait until I tell you the, another one that you'll. I think oh. you've missed. So I thought Jeff Kenner were brilliant. He come in, Bruce, Brucey brought him in, yeah. and he just got that. The winning mentality, but the professionalism. He always saw him going in the gym doing his core and all that. Not that I could follow him. That's what, <laughs> that's what he used to do. See that, did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, set one of my centre halves, Kenny Cunningham. Oh, oh yeah, player. nice one. I used to love playing against him because I knew I could bully him mm. and I would bash <laughs> him up. But when he played, when I played with him, I just thought, wow, he won't quick. He read the but game he just so read well. Read the game yeah. so quick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The other centre half had got to be Jono. Mm-hmm. I love Jono. Love playing against him. Love playing with him. Mm. Worst dressed oh, man ever. The couldn't worst dress. dressed man. <laughs> couldn't, dr- couldn't dress. The couldn't wor- dance. Could he? The worst dressed man for a black man. No rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so the you, truth. You yeah, he it's won't the like that. But it's I the went, truth. I, like obviously, I got sent off against him. Smashed him and all that. Yeah. And then he was the first person. We were at Perry Bar pre-season. Yeah. First person to come up. And Jono went. Please, I'm glad you're on my side and not against me. And that's yeah. what Jono said. Yeah. And he could have gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, blah blah blah. But he was brilliant. Yeah, mm-hmm. left back Grange all day long. Yeah. Yeah. all day long. Love yeah. Grange. Yeah. Yeah. Used to love what Grange. Just watching him going into tap, going, you're getting it. Yeah. Right winger, you're going to get it. And just go <laughs> straight through people. What was that game when he went through two players? Was that at um, Gillingham away? I think he put I the right challenge in, and he got some left foot. He got some left foot. He was a better player than what people thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't just hard. He could play. Yeah, he could play. He's the only player I've ever seen get two red cards in one challenge. Left wing, Lazar. Yeah, Lazaridis. Yeah, yeah. gotta have Lazaridis. The Go balls he used to put in, he didn't, he didn't check back or anything. Just run past people. Well, he didn't. He, sometimes he didn't run past people. You knew it were coming yeah. in. You I loved it, watching him play. You knew it were coming in. Yeah. yeah. On the right, John McCarthy. Mm. Top player, yeah. John McCarthy. <laughs> I knew he'd miss that one. <laughs> I love John. He didn't play as many games with me because he got. I think he broke his leg after about. Four or five games. Yeah, come back and, and then he come back and he broke it again, didn't he? But John he McCarthy. was fantastic. He could go Sorry, John. I do apologise. Mr. Dead, we used to call him. Like all his Mr. All, Dead, all yeah. his blood had come out of him. He was so white. Mr. Yeah. Dead. Honestly, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dead, we used Honestly. to call him. Yeah. Uh, I've put, I've I've put Savin. That. I've got to put Savin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The games against Villa were brilliant in the Premier League and all that. Oh, for two seasons, yeah. he was brilliant. He loved, don't get me wrong, he loved himself and all that, but yeah, he was scared of all the big lads. As soon as he went, obviously, we were yeah, yeah. on a bit of yeah. a decline, didn't we? After yeah. that, yeah. we struggled Good to get player. back to what we were. And again, I've, I've put Skip, I, could, I was looking at somebody like Jonty and all that, but I liked how Skip played. Yeah, oh, like yeah. Rattling, getting into people, yeah. picking people out in the changing rooms and things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You need that, don't you? Of course you do, of course you do. It's that, we're like them kind of characters, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. When we got promoted, we were them kind of characters, mm. the League Cup and all that. Yeah. It were them characters that got us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, up front, I've got Dukes. I can't, I can't, no, not, yeah. I cannot have him in it. Uh, he was just, he was sometimes, yeah. Southampton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southampton it's was the just... only time I've seen a player be called to the ref and the refs come to him. <laughs> you know, they do that. And that's what happened. Do you know what I mean? He was fantastic. And I've changed. I've put Nuddy in. Okay. Peter. I have put Peter mm. Unlove. I only played with him for half a season, but he could twist and turn. Oh, he quick. He scored oh, goals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he loved the night out as well. So he <laughs> loved, <laughs> the loved the night out. Loved the night out. Who else could have got there? Was that maybe AJ? AJ. Oh, AJ. Oh, AJ. Yeah. Stern. Furs. Fur. I didn't play with Furs. Oh, he were injured. He done his knee. Stern John. Stern John. What? Yeah. There. Stern well, John. No, it's a good team. But AJ. I think. And who's the captain in each team? Who's? I'd have gone skip me. Yep. I would go, um, I'd have to go, ooh, tough one. Not John. Ma- Mazza or Abs. I'll go Abs because yeah. he, he was just quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure quality. And is there any good pranks you can tell us about on air, like, within reason, <laughs> that we sort of played on, oh, um, on each goal? Let me just think. Um, yeah, well, we had a, a hit squad, so we used to train on a Friday. And right. Trevor, the gaffer, used to, used to train with us. 
and we still couldn't touch him. He was, what was he like? Mm. He was frightening. That was at 45, 46. Oh, he was top in. corner, bottom corner. So we used to put a, a bench on his head. <laughs> to to, to what, nail it. 10, 20 a bounty. Bounty. We all a bounty. Bounty. A bounty. A bounty, like some money to... Whoever got, 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 got him. What about a chocolate bar? No, forget that. Yeah, whoever put him back down. Whoever nailed him. Whoever nailed him. Obviously, we get the, the, the money night and uh, one Friday. Do you know about this? Yeah, well, Most, I, don't, it, I, don't, it, I don't know because on a Friday, I used to love it because you used to get the fans to come and watch us play a five aside and he'd be playing and be scoring a, goals. He'd be best player, wouldn't oh, he? He'd best be best player, player on the, on the Friday. Yeah. And Brian Hughes won it in the end. Yeah, Brian Hughes nailed him. Sti- stitched him, didn't That's it, stitched him. Got loads of stitches. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, to be fair, that the squads and the, 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 the characters we had were every day, there's something happening. So how much was the bounty? Right, I can't remember. No. I can't, I can't, I can't remember. Ten or eight. Right, yeah. yeah, I can't remember. But there were about six or seven in it, weren't there? Yeah, I think there was. But the, the, the biggest <laughs> one, and I'm going to say, it, and this is the truth, the biggest one, Kevin Muscat. Oh yeah. So I know people are going to say, oh, blah blah can't blah. But him. me and Grange had a bet who to na- who's going to nail Kevin Muscat first. It. So Grange was playing left back. Kevin Muscat was right back. So I said, oh, then Grange will have we'll have a bet like under quid or whatever it was. So I don't know. It was the 85th minute when I got yeah, sent off for punching him. <laughs> Grange never got nowhere near him. Never got nowhere near Horrible him. Man, wasn't it? So I got oh, sent yeah, off. Man. So I said to Grange, I've won Coward. the bet. Coward. I've, I've won the bet. Like, because he was spouting off in the papers about we, we rubbish and got no quality. And, but anyway, so punched him, got off, sent off. You're fine. Grange raised the money. Yeah, I'll give you your Monday skip. I'll give you your never Monday. Give you never give it. Never give it. Still owes you now. Still owes me now. Yeah. And I got done two weeks' wage as well for getting sent off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh. So Martin Grange just allows me money. Mm. Jeff, any? I can all mine. All mine. All mine. Pre-season when we're going out drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you come down with is it? We went down to Plymouth. Trevor yeah. always like yes. to take us down to Plymouth to these hotels. They're in the middle of nowhere, weren't they? That's where he's from in here, originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we'd have to go to his where he's he's like a god in his Italian restaurant. <laughs> his Italian <laughs> restaurant. He's saying to us, right lads, uh, got training tomorrow. So you can only have a couple of beers. So. We're like ordering bottles of wine, putting them on the table, just absolutely necking <laughs> beers. And then he's gone, right, lads, we're, we've got taxis outside. So he'd, he'd ordered all these taxis and then back to the hotel. So all taxis went that way. We went, mate, straight in the town centre that way. <laughs> so we ended up going on a night out. We was, me and Danny, I was rooming with Danny Sonnen at the time. And we got in about, I think it was about five o'clock in the morning, been in this nightclub and all that. And then halfway through the night, it started raining. And to get into our room, We'd, we'd left the windows open ajar so we could get in so yeah. we didn't have to come from the front yeah, with yeah. cameras so we've come down and it's all muddy so it's not even grass they've only just built the hotel it, it, it were all mud so all the lads about six or seven lads have gone through my room and then they've opened obviously up my door and they've gone into their own rooms I'm there <laughs> naked on the floor scrubbing the hotel corridors and all that because there were, there were me that had been out uh, <laughs> it, but he never he wouldn't find us would no. he he'd go uh, Arvel, Arvel, I think they've been out. Yeah. I think they've been out. <laughs> he, he, wouldn't, he would never the, find the us. The beauty of that squad, to be fair, we, we, we worked hard and we played hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, know? you yeah. can't do it now, can no. you? you it's not being part of a family, that's what it sounds like. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And if there were any trouble out of the football, we'd, yeah. we'd, we'd, we'd back each other yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could feel that in the stands, couldn't you, Nick, when you were watching the play? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. We loved it. Good times. Brilliant times. Brilliant times. Because it weren't just you guys that was together; we was together as well. Yeah, of course. And we of have course. to be. I think yeah. there was there was more relationship between the players and and the fans. I I can actually relate to being yeah that relationship between the players and the fans probably more now than there is mm. yeah. today because the yeah. game's changed and it's social media and social media exactly. Yeah, you have yeah. a bottle. It could be one bottle of mm. beer. Mm. He's on his tenth. He's mm. lost two 0 yeah. He's his fifteenth. Mm. When yeah. it's not, mm. people just make things up mm. as soon as. You're tired of your brush. You're in trouble, aren't yeah. you? So yeah. you've, got, you've got to be careful. Mm. Yeah. It's hard for footballers. I know it go, it's the money, it's this, it's that. Mm. They can't live a normal life. Mm. They really can't because it's... Yeah. You've got to be careful. Yeah. So that's that. It's yeah. really hard for um, the players to be connected to fans. I know fans don't see it that way, but it really is, mm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 yeah. and, I, and I, I, I appreciate what you're saying, but a lot of fans don't see it that way. They genuinely no, don't see it true, that way. Exactly. No, true, exactly. No, and I get that. I get <laughs> and, that. Um, you, you know, I mean, there's, there's some, been some lovely gestures. It's like um, when uh, Jeremy, uh, his mum passed away. Blues, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Different it's lovely. Different can't, wait to, can't wait to hear him coming down yeah, by yeah. the main stand at yeah. the back. You know, you know yeah. your day's on then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're getting ready. Yeah. And, um, well, of course, he hadn't got a clue about wills and insurance. He had nothing, had he? Didn't have a clue, did he? And 
uh, Linda set a GoFundMe page up, and within a couple of weeks, couple of three weeks, three grand had paid for the yeah. yeah, it's done, isn't it? And uh, even Stockers put a wedge in. Yeah. So. But I think that shows not just Blues. Obviously, it happens at every club. But I yeah. just, I just think it shows the humility of fans, anyway. Yeah. You know, to to back good causes. Mm. Yeah. Want well, some good news? Mm. Leicester won. We don't know. Hey! Don't know. Didn't say who scored. Doesn't Goalkeeping know. error, apparently. Oh, oh, it's Enkelman. Rainer, Rainer again. Yeah. Yeah. Enkelman, yeah. Yeah. Enkelman, yeah. Enkelman. We have a happy Enkelman day every year. <laughs> <laughs> do we not, Chris? We do, yeah. We have I don't know where his picture is in the Legends Lane. He should be in Chile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the last 15 already? Uh, Nick, we've got, we've got loads. Have you got, uh, have you got, uh, have you got a who? I've got a who. I've got a three word. I tell you what, we I think, done I think the best thing we do is do them next week because we've got things, you know, it's just been so chatty, hasn't it? And I don't know where the time's gone to. <laughs> I can't, I can't, unfortunately, mate. You no, know, no, 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 I've got a, a long drive back as well. So, no, no, yeah. Nick, can I, I would quick, do. Can I quickly do a, a three-word? Three-word review, yes. I've lost it. <laughs> he only gets one job. I've lost it. That's it. I've lost that's it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Martin. Nice one. Right, we'll get you back in a bit. <laughs> no, still lost it. Still lost it. Okay. We could do the U, can't we? Can we do that? We've got time for that. Uh, that is all set up to do. So, yeah, you, you, you can the same. You, you can do it if you wish. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna get it. Here we go. So, okay, do you want to do you want the sound effects as well? Yeah, okay, I thought you might. Uh, no, okay, I'll do it in a bit. Okay, so this guy was date of birth 8th of July 1980. You all know who it is because you can see it. Yeah. Um, uh, born in Carl Shulton, six foot, he was midfielder, uh, de defender. Current team, hashtag United. Still going, still okay. playing. Uh, played for Walton and Hersham, West Ham, Peterborough, uh, Birmingham in 2002-2004. Queen's Park Rangers, uh, Barnsley, Gillingham, Swansea. Any ideas? You want the oil? Yeah. No. I never have an idea. I've got some clue to I've got such Where a bad idea. From us, Martin, was it Warsaw? Yeah. 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 He he was, funny when Good times, there. To be fair, me and Brucey had a big fallout, so it was Did time you? for me to go. Yeah, yeah, right. I had to go. Um, oh, right. And there's a few clubs who, who come in for me, but he wouldn't let us go because Blues are in the playoffs and the clubs who fancied me was in the playoffs. So he said, go and speak to Walsall. We're bottom of the championship. Oh. Um, but it was, I mean, to be for me, it was great because back to my own club and yeah. home club. And, yeah. Um, we kept that, you support Walsall then, yeah? Well, I'm from, I'm born, I'm born, right, born okay, in Reading, cool. Walsall. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that season, Walsall stayed up and then Blues went up against Norwich in the in the playoffs so <laughs> it was a great end of season for me <laughs> yeah he's found it I found it yeah, yeah someone's yeah. got it Joe BCFC burn it Tommy Williams Tommy Williams that was Boom. quick that was quick did, did you get it now? so easy no. Google isn't it there, yeah. oh you can see it can't <laughs> yeah, can't see, yeah. Yeah. did he Google it even, even Googling it <laughs> yeah. is quick that is that's a real quick one well he first come to the club and he's a cockney boy isn't he mm. and we're all sat at the back of the bus and I can remember it to this day, we're all having a game of cards and all that, and he's come on the phone in his cockney voice, giving it the biggest one ever. Yeah, you owe me 10 grand, you owe me 10 grand, give me it tomorrow in the bank, yeah, yeah, and all this. All the lads have just stood there and gone, who are you? That won't last long. Who <laughs> are you? Yeah. You <laughs> better sit down and be quiet yeah. quick. Yeah. Like that. The lads just chopped him in half. And he'd come round at the dinner, because we were travelling away, yeah. the dinner, he apologised to everybody. And I'm sorry, lads. He said, he said, well, you better wind your neck in very, mm. very quickly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and he did. It doesn't happen <laughs> at this club. <laughs> like that. But he thought he was summer. Yeah. He did think yeah, he yeah. was summer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't crop that picture very well. And I left the name at the top. Oh, oh did you? That was good, then. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> Really? Sack the juggler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he gets one job a week. I get, one job. <laughs> I get to say that every single week, and I have oh. God knows how long. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh well. There you go. Um, have we got the shirt for signing? Sure, 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 sure. Have you done? I've done mine. Yes. You've done yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah, I think I've done yeah, mine. Superb. Well. Superb. That's uh, we'll we'll auction that off one day. You signed that before, Jeff? You've been here. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I've signed it. I'm having a look for it now. No. If not, I'll sign it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Super. We, we will out. auction that off one day and uh, yeah. So, what's your favourite ever goal you both scored for Blues? I've got only pick one goal. I you know, know, I know what you're going to say to me. You can go back in time it's, and you can relive that moment. It's hard. I, one of the most important ones was the Cardiff one yeah. against Norwich for me. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
I love the first one because that was my first ever Premier League goal against Aston Villa at home. Yeah. Uh, and obviously scoring at the old end as well, which were, which were really good. I yeah. was I was going to edit in actually. Yeah. I thought I'd have got, I'd have got yeah I'd have got killed. I'd have got shot or killed uh, or something. So, but I think it's the important is getting us back in the game at, at Cardiff and yeah. thankfully for us, Daz Carter. Yeah. Seventeen oh. year old. Blue been, yeah. He's been in. Wow. Yeah. What a moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant yeah. that. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant for us. For as him, well. as, but for him, you look and go. If you wanted anybody to score, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, 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 seventeen-year-old. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. No really. pressure. No, no, exactly. Yeah. No pressure. Martin, you got some good ones. Not I really. A few of yours. Remember you won a Bolton. Remember that one? Uh, Bolton. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like, like a no. memory. memory. Wow. They scored, okay. a, scored a screamer from the edge of the box at Bolton first. First time shot. I was probably trying to play Orson or something. Yeah. Yeah, that one then. That one. Um, <laughs> Which I'll have to have a look at yeah. YouTube for later. Yeah. Uh, Man City at home, you yeah. reminded me of that one. That was decent. Yeah. I think for me, probably been my first one on my debut. Yeah. No, it's your way. You scored on your debut? Yeah. Okay. Beaten 1 0. Oh, 2 1, I scored the winner. That's one thing yeah. I don't remember. See? Yeah. yeah. No, it's your way, my first game for, for Blue. So. Okay. Which was, it was weird because that week I was training with Peter up until the Thursday. Yeah. And I joined the boys on the Friday evening. Oh, okay. And then, to be fair, Trevor put me straight in the team, which yeah, is great. Yeah. And then scored, and that was it. Yeah. First so. game at St Andrews was. Yeah, yeah Ipswich. Ipswich. But to, to be fair, we've had some. Obviously, the squad, the team I was in, it was a great team. I felt it was a good team. Um, on any day, we could have beat anybody. Yeah. Um, but the Ipswich one, whoever we played, we played Newcastle a couple of times, beat them, beat yeah. Tottenham away. Yeah. yeah. Tottenham away. And mm. So we, we, we had, as, as I say, it wasn't. You know, full of ability. We just guys who just wanted to win and did everything to win yeah. and stuck together. Mm. But the Ipswich, Ipswich was unbelievable mm. atmosphere. We'd be, we'd be top two of the championship. Oh, right? oh yeah, easy. We'd, we'd be top two. Yeah, promoted. Yeah, yeah. We'd be promoted. Yeah, you would. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But again, you, you look back and you, you go to what's Blues now, and they have got that little bit about them now. I mm-hmm. think that mm-hmm. camaraderie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Djukovic has got that about him. Isn't yeah, he's good. He's, yeah, love him. He don't leave nothing on the pitch, does he? No. no. He's been nominated for Player of the Month award. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, as, as soon as the show's finished, vote for Duke. Yeah. Vote for the Duke. Mm. Yes. Uh, Big says, does Martin remember Brucey taking the ball off him to take a penalty? He ended up missing. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. why I went to Walsall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, when I got to when I got to Blues, Bruce was still playing, and he just changed my game completely. So I had to instead of going from box to box, I had to sit in front of the strikers. So with the strikers, didn't get the ball to to, to make Brucey work. So, but yeah, I remember Brucey picking up the ball, and I was going to take a penalty, and he took it and missed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, just some great stories. Yeah, some player one in Brucey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Even when he come, I think two seasons. Yeah, yeah. a season he was brilliant. Good he ate well. he ate pre-season. Good gaffer as well. Yeah, well. I didn't oh, get on with him. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, from a supporter's point of view, like we did a lot. Right, lot of his, a lot of his success came with Matt Bowen. Mm. Yeah. yeah, for me, yeah. Matt yeah. Bowen, who's ready manager now, mm. Mm. fantastic coach. Yeah, yeah, he was fantastic. A good coach. Yeah, but uh, when you when you look back again, when you reminisce, you think some of the players that have gone through Blues, superb. Mm-hmm. They've had some great players. Oh, we have had some great players. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely some great players. goalkeepers as well. Oh. Oh, oh, always had good goalkeepers. Just, yeah. Just some of them have just been out as well, don't yeah. they? Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go back even to the seventies when we had. Um, help me out, Chris. <laughs> Dave, Dave Langdon. Was it? <clears throat> was it no. Dave Langdon. No, 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 no. Oh, Tony Colton. Colton. Tony Colton. Seventies. What was he? Seventies. Tony, Tony Colton. Cool. We had Tony Colton. Montgomery. Seaman was. Uh, David Seaman, right? of course, started his career. Uh, Nazi. Really, Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. Martin yeah. Thomas. Martin, Martin Thomas. Thomas yeah. He was in goal when I started going. Martin Ro- Thomas. Roger Ansbury well. was in goal for my first game. For me, I remember Martin Thomas. <laughs> and then we have Benno. Um, and then we Pooley. Have Pooley. Kev Pool. Kevin Pooley. Did he still play him? Do you remember his penalty Kevin against Poole. Watford? Oh, smashed it. Oh, yeah. he, he got a great ping in. Wasn't he? Wasn't yeah. he warming up, wasn't he? Just Super straight as a die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, were, we were so unfortunate, weren't we, for three years in the playoffs. You know, the Watford and then the, the Barnsley. Barnsley, wasn't it? Yeah. Barnsley, Watford. Barnsley, we just and then didn't... Preston. I remember you scored oh. at Preston, didn't you? And we I scored, a big then I hit. Which end? I hit the post, it run across the line, line. Yeah. and then they went up and scored. I can't remember, lad. 
ranking. Uh, ranking. Oh, sorry, he went ranking. up yeah. and scored. Then yeah. we had extra time penalties, wasn't it? Yeah, and then the, Trevor was arguing over which end. Oh. He's, it's not that. He went and sat in the dugout. I was going to say, yeah. That come out, the lip come out and everything. And, and, and all lads that's went, it. oh, yeah, what's yeah, happening here? Out. Instead of yeah. him going, right, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to win it at their yeah. end, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. He said it like a yeah, positive yeah, yeah. positive yeah. talk. He didn't. He took us back at Ginger Rooms, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took us back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sadly, we went, nah, we're not going to do it. And he's talking to Alba, we're not, not going to take penalties, we're going to boycott it. But yeah. So we're thinking, what are you doing that for? Yeah. He had some funny ways, didn't he? Mm. He had some funny ways. Instead of being a positive going, come on, yeah. let's, let's, yeah. let's beat them. Yeah. He won that kind of, mm. won that kind of yeah. person, manager. Well, gents, it's uh, gone nine o'clock. Jesus we could sit here and talk. That has flown. Really that's flown. Uh, we didn't do a last fifteen minutes tonight. No, no, no. I just, it's I just, just too to good, get, isn't it? Yeah, wanted to get so much. You're to make the most of the time. Right. Yeah. And um, from my point of view, and I'm sure from his, and I'm sure from his, and from my three sons, thanks for the memories, guys, because you know, pleasure, loved it, pleasure. Yeah, you've, you've had, loved it. Uh, you've both had a massive impact, uh, certainly on me and my three lads. Yeah, um, as well. and yeah, and, and I keep telling my ten-year-old daughter, but she don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> well, get to listen. I keep going down. Everybody's having pictures, and she get don't a, believe me. I said, "You do know better than him." Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't lace my boots. Like, no, 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 Dad, I'm not having you. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, Thanks for them, uh, two goals against. Uh, you know, pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure for watch. Pleasure to watch. <laughs> Thanks for going to goal as well, isn't that guy? Yeah, no. That must have been 12 minutes clean sheet. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> 12 minutes clean sheet. <laughs> yeah. Easy. What a claim to fame. Brilliant. Well, ladies and gents, this has been the Tilton Talk Show. It's uh, been entertainment. It's been packed full of uh, good stories, a good laugh. Uh, two lovely guys here. Uh, Jeff, you're certainly doing a, a marvellous job in what Good you're doing. Um, and yourself, of course, with the Academy. Uh, taking them kids off the street and looking after them and one thing or another. Uh, don't forget, I shall be battering all of you uh, in the weeks to come for this PTSD fund. Support Linda on the bungee jump yep. for devs and for, yep. for Jeff. Yep. And have you got any charitable things that people could support? No, no. no. Or if you have, just come and let us know. Will do. Because the door's always open. Except when it's closed. Except when it's closed. <laughs> this has been the Talk, talk Show. Mr Sheen. Thank you very much. Mrs. Good night. Brown. From me, Mr Floor, from Jeff Horsfield. And from the legend, well, you're both legends, absolute true Birmingham City legends, Martin O'Connor. Ladies and gents, thanks. Good night. Take care. We'll see you back here next Monday, 7.30 through till 9. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later. Thank you.